Yes, oh, I hope the presidential election goes like this. <laughs> it's all it fucked won't, up. It won't. To be fair, also, McCain I wins. told you, deep impact, baby. Just keep watching it. A really? Lot of, just keep watching it. <laughs> he saves what? the earth. Didn't you feel comfortable when that motherfucking video was coming? It was well, good. if Obama gets elected, I want to be one of those guys that gets hit by that big wave. <laughs> Why? <laughs> In deep impact. Because I'm going to be the fucking, I'm going to be the guy that gets trotted on. To save every, save the fucking United States from uh, all the evilness that Dude, Whitey has done to it for years. I'm gonna be the fucking guy. It's gonna be on my fucking you back didn't even now. You want to save one lousy guy that all has my tax his lungs money. shutting down Talking yesterday. About cash. How are you gonna save America? Talking about cash. All my money's gonna go to fucking social programs and bullshit that this ain't gonna do crap but nothing... turn it into another New York City like when Rockefeller was running this shit. This has nothing shit to do hole. with. Uh... With the color? Yeah. Of course it does. Because he's gonna his top priority is gonna be taking care of uh, but, poor uh, black people. Let me ask you a question. Does the president have that much power to just take yes. care of whoever the Obama fuck he wants will, to take care of? Because guilty white people are gonna be more apt to take care of it. Uh, he's not uh, gonna do shit for, for black people. Shit. He's not even he what? Won't dare. Wait till it what? Wait till his wife. What do you uh, think he's gonna? There. He's gonna appoint black people in yes. the office as white people are sitting there with their fucking watching closely Obama eyes. Of course like, he oh, is. Oh, there you go, a black policeman. Like shut the. He's fuck gonna up. appoint black people in his cabinets and everything. Really? And then, Why can't? He? And then he's gonna say. All right, we got. We need this fucking fucking God. social program. It's going to take care of. Uh, it's going to take care of low income housing, which you could say is low income housing. Well, it's for everybody. Because the second you say you mean buildings that poor black people live in, that's <laughs> racist. But don't forget, Bush had it. Look, you looked at. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Okay. What's the problem, though? Because I don't want to fucking pay for it. Well, I lived in my fucking car. It, I lived in my car. So you want to pull yourself you up by your bootstrap and take care of your own fucking ass? Everything you feel like you're paying for now. Yep you feel is something you want to pay for no m no i of course not but it's going to be more you look at my fucking why you have problems with, with the nigger programs it's, the, it's just the nigger programs you the poor negro programs you're talking about what about yeah, other yes, programs thank you and he's not going to just do that He's not going to just help black people. He's not going to do that. No, you're right. He's not just going to do He's that. He's going to help everybody. He's going to take my tax breaks that were given to me and take those By away. Who? So it's even Reagan more. Reagan 50 years Reagan ago? Reagan and Bush. Daddy Bush, not this Bush. No, this Bush gave tax breaks to fucking... Uh, to uh, rich folks? Not rich, rich folks. People that live in New York City that make $100,000 a year, you tell me, you ask them if they're fucking rich. They're rich or if folks. $100,000 a year is rich folks. 100 grand folks. in New York City is not rich. Fucking live like, instead of living like a... Like you got a hundred thousand, no one live like a hundred air instead of living like a thousand. No air. one got this fucking hundred thousand dollar a year job by fucking uh, going on welfare or fucking social Nobody's programs. Nobody's even they on welfare their anymore. Balls no off one's the on welfare shit. no more. Welfare doesn't even exist. Wick cards, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's fucking food, you goddamn gruesome motherfucker. You just help <laughs> some guy. No one gives a fuck about not kill himself. Can a nigga get a sandwich? <laughs> Good. Good. Work for the motherfucking fucking sandwich. Asshole. Work Jesus for the sandwich. <laughs> Work what the for fuck it. is wrong with you? Work. It's, dude, look Get it. a fucking job for the sandwich. If some people, look, like the, like the, the gas situation, okay, Anthony, mm -hmm. for real, doesn't affect you. From, from $80 a gallon to $160, I mean, from $80 to fill up your trunk, truck. Yeah. To a hundred and twenty dollars to fill up your truck yeah. doesn't mean anything to you. Doesn't mean anything to Norton. Maybe doesn't mean anything to me. Maybe May maybe it's like oh, I can afford that. But there's motherfuckers out there, dude, that are extra fifty dollars a day f or for or extra fifty dollars to fill up your tank. Mm -hmm. it, it it's not that they're begging or anything else, man. You think it's I'm like against you, low you, gas you, prices? Where no, the fuck not, did this come not from? Low gas prices. But the fact that the gas prices aren't going to lower um, because it's a private sector. I mean, the oil doesn't owe us anything. That's the thing about the oil thing. It's like if you're on crack and a motherfucker goes, you know what? Instead of the crack dealer goes, instead of $10, it's going to be 20 Deal with it, motherfucker. <laughs> now, that's what the oil companies are doing. Why do, why do we need breaks? Now, it's the private sector. They're fucking everybody. But as, as people, as humans... It's like somebody, just because they need help, doesn't mean they're begging for help. It means uh, you, you need some fucking help from, this co from your country. This country, this country will ask you to go to war 
and ask you to do a lot of things for it. It will it, if you say anything wrong about it, you're not a fucking American. All this shit, this country pressure, this country places on you, and it can't help a motherfucker get a, a I got sandwich. A, I got a quarterly tax bill on my counter right now that is due on the fifteenth. You fucking look at that thing and tell me I'm not doing enough. Go I don't fuck yourself. I don't know what I'm you make. I'm doing plenty, motherfucker. I don't know what you make. I'm doing plenty. I don't know if that's if I should be caring about the fact that you want to buy another Shelby. I or, should be allowed to. I've made it, some of myself. Now, fuck me. Uh, no, fuck not, me in no, my ass. No, not I made you. some of myself. <laughs> no, I achieved, fuck you. I achieved what's called but, the American minute, dream. Fuck me in my ass now. Not everybody Ugh. who d doesn't achieve the level that you achieve. Yeah. Is a beggar on welfare. I'm not saying they are. But and I'm doing you, my share. I don't want to do more. Can you fucking please add? I don't want to do more. Can you please add poor white folks to it too? Because you get the insinuation that this is some old black shit. There's white people are in the same boat. And that's what I don't like is that this shit is really not a black and white thing. It's, it's, it's black people make it's, it black and white thing. Well, because they do. It's terrible. Bring him in. I don't know why. Anthony, you are outnumbered today. D.L. Hughley. Please. <laughs> I know D.L. feels the same way I do. He don't want his tax money going up. Jesus Christ. We also He'll have... agree with me, first of all, because he's black. <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all about your own audience. Either, yeah. Either this or it's a methadone clinic. What is this, man? <laughs> yeah, on Fridays, we kind of do the live right, audience what's thing, happening, man. man. Friday's the day to come uh, by and check out the show up? live. Oh, man. What's up, the What did I miss? I, I, uh, just in a heated dispute about Obama and fucking taxes and social programs and, and, and my tax money going up for shit programs yeah, that don't but you work. But you can't control what the government's going to do with your fucking tax money. So just, I know. It, it'll go where it goes. I don't want it going up. Well, how does the elf? I mean, he's taking a lot okay. of money. Here's, here it is. Here it is. Reallocate. Where my fucking money that I'm paying already goes, yeah. and I'm fine with it. But that isn't but what's going to happen. But he's not guaranteeing well, that I, shit. Wait, 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 wait. My <clears throat> tax shit's going to go up. I, what makes you say that? Because there's going to because there's gonna be, there's gonna, got to be all kinds of social programs now that Obama's going to want to put well, in place. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. This is honest. This is an honest okay. question. We we had where our con economy's failing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, our share. tax revenues, are, I mean, are down, and nobody's making any money, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously what we're doing hasn't worked. Yeah. So what what is wrong with trying a new uh, approach? I, uh, because uh, first Even of all, I'm, too much give money. Give a nigga a chance. Too what much the fuck money, you gonna do? There's too much but, money being spent on a fucking war. Right. That's the that problem. He's, trying, he's gonna That's get out of. No, he's problem. not gonna get out of it. He's not. Well, gonna he's gonna he's gonna try to. He, here's, here's the Good thing. luck. I don't. I, I really don't believe. I believe pre preachers, pimps, and politicians are really all the same motherfucker. They really are. Like anybody who makes their living off your hopes, your dreams, and your fears, hmm. really all the same guy. Um, and, and this is a job application. I can. Uh, this is the biggest job application. I don't want, know one motherfucker that tells the truth on a job application. When is the last time <laughs> it, you don't even tell the that. truth on your driver's license? <laughs> what woman out there really weigh one twelve? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that 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 it, America has a tendency to pick symbols. They go, this is like to me. I worry that he's a symbol. Like people go, look how far we've come. We elected. He the black is. A, guy. He is a symbol though. <laughs> we ain't gonna change shit else. He's like Kmart. We changed the shine, but not the shit in it. That's who we, you know, I, so. That's why I just want a black president. That's why all that other horse shit that, that you know, trying to find the, 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 the fucking, like, in, in pencil. See, this thing, white people always got to find a reason to not be racist. Like, you got to find a reason to just go, I ain't voting for this nigga. It's got to be... Or some reason why like, he can't he can't bowl. <laughs> but for them it was like no, the nigga couldn't in, bowl. In I don't trust a nigga that can't bowl. <laughs> in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, it's funny because in West Virginia, yeah, let me tell you. First off, a black dude with a cardboard sign asking for change in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, is he panhandling? I don't even know what he's doing. But uh, in in West Virginia and Ohio and uh, um, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, uh, the Dakotas. Even in Puerto Rico, you got to consider she was winning primaries by large numbers, even when they knew she couldn't win. 19% of Americans say, I wouldn't vote for him no matter what. That's the 19% of Americans that have come out and say it. So how many people, so, how many, how many, here's, here's the question. How many out of the 300 million white people, you figure how many can... It's not 300 million white well, people. There's 300 million white people in this country. No. Yeah. 300 million people. No, yeah. 300 million goddamn white people. 
people. Get the fuck out of Go here. Go look at the fucking thing. I, I'm not going to just... That's the whole population number. of Wait the a minute. No, it's not. You're saying a number, and I'm saying a number, and I'm wrong. Fuck that. Maybe 200-something. Let's think it's 200. just say how many I'm out of... That, Jim. Out of <laughs> let's how many up. of those people <laughs> do Obama need? How many white people do Obama need to fucking win the presidency? Fuck the racist ones that ain't going to vote for him. Or anyway, but the the guilty, the white people that have white guilt, and the actual decent white people who go, I right, fuck that. <laughs> you're gonna get. I don't know. You're gonna get. You're this gonna, is he's a great get, conversation. I hate I missed it. He's gonna get the Democratic vote. He's no, not it. necessarily. No, what you think? It's no racist Democrats. What? Oh, there are racist Democrats. That will but, say fuck that. Well, when they go in the curtain, time connected with the blue collar dem rural Democrats who go. Yeah. For some reason, whatever people grow shit, they don't like black people. Like, uh, and farmers and black people, farmers used to love us at one point. I don't know, why. Yeah, fuck. I don't know how we drifted apart. This is great. Because we're giving we... away all my tomatoes to WIC programs. We fucking asshole. Goddamn niggas getting my corn for free. It's awful. But I think people are getting, like, to me, um, the, 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 the uh, like, politicians, I don't even know why you want to be, like, you guys lost the governor just because he hired a hooker. And I didn't even yeah. know that was a... And he wrote a check for a hooker, which I think is... Like, that's pretty much a cash and carry business right there. You, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> give no me right money, checks, give me no credit cards, right. <laughs> and then you replaced him with a black dude who's black blind, admitted he had several uh, affairs and did cocaine, so he's basically Ray Charles. <laughs> <laughs> like, because when you're blind, you can get away with anything. You mean that wasn't my wife? <laughs> that is true, you know? So, I think he gets away with a little more. So I think politicians blind. in general, are like, like uh, it's to me... America has a problem. Like uh, Congress's approval rating is down, but you ask everybody, do they love their congressman? And they do, and they said. Dia, let do. me let me. It sounds like you're saying, and and it sounds like you're saying Obama. And I agree with this on a level. I'm, you might not be saying this, but I'm not really into. What, it's what does almost, it sound like I'm saying? It sounds like you're saying he ain't shit anyway because no. he's a politician, right? But <laughs> right. I, and I and I agree with it on on that level. But the next level that I'm. I just want there on on. A, I just want there to be a, a black president. Well, uh, because watch you got to get it out the way. Watch what it's you want. It's got to get knocked out the way. Okay, listen. But black, I agree with black that. Black quarterback. Patrice, I don't. I, I agree with that. But I'm, what I'm saying is, the 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 the, the transcendent. What I don't like is any politician telling any politician telling me how great things are going to be if he is in charge. But you know well, it's, you know it's not. Point. But I will vote but for him. Jackie because... Robinson wasn't even the best black baseball so player my... when he came. It's just like what happens is once he's the president, then black people, because black people, really, we're, we're just one constituency. At least white people can be two things. You can be well, three things. White, you can be Democrat or Republican. Black people on this thing we got to be black. You can be so black, that, a Democrat, or an Uncle Tom. No, no, no. A, is a, pretty much we if gotta, you're a Republican. But basically, we got to be black on this issue yeah. so that then we can be cut in half. Because like, there's enough black mayors to, for a black person to not have to vote for a mayor because he's black. Right. you got to vote for the black president because he's black. Because you're black. Just to get this as something that... Just like black quarterbacks. There's enough black quarterbacks where a white person can go, this motherfucker sucks. <laughs> Without, and, and without being a racist. Like a racist. So you can't go Obama sucks, but you can go the mayor of Detroit suck. Well, no, here's what you could do. I think that just for me, I have a pragmatic uh, kind of view. I don't believe that politicians <laughs> by nature are good people. I think that they are. No, he's and a so I, I and he that. to me is one of them. And, 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 and he to me is one of them. I hate when everybody he w w I hate that everybody's acting like he's not a he's not Jesus he is a politician yes and so I keep politicians you know at bat I vote DL, for the first that's gonna DL, fuck over come the on now you I do, do I do you are alive you are alive with possibly fuck all the 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 logistics of politics man you may be alive and if he's a fucked up guy. Mm -hmm. At least he's a black fucked up That's guy. What, okay, we need the, to see a black president. I, get, I want to see a black president. We my got to want to see my that. My point is, I don't want, what I don't want is for anybody to confuse the fact, of course, I, I'll vote for him because I believe he's the best of what we have. But I don't place any politician in high esteem. He's the best of what we have. And I think that that is an America. I think the problem in America is that we don't ever hold these people accountable. We kind of go, I'll vote for you because of this. I'll vote for you because of this. You can make all the promises you want, but you ain't ever got to keep them because of this. The bottom line, this country is in the shape that it's in because people make dumb decisions. Right. 
and they mm-hmm. constantly and he, and make dumb decisions for all dumb re- I'm not saying him. I'm talking about as a nation. And, and, we all right. make because de- it's basically a, a dude who's half black against running against a dude who's half dead. Let me ask so you this. Let me, really, let me <laughs> let me ask you this. Really if you, if you thought, if you thought, right? And this is uh, as a black man. This mm-hmm. is one of those questions. Mm-hmm. And and I'm I'm not one of these motherfuckers. Go, oh, you're this or that because you. I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. If if you thought McCain was really a better candidate. But I couldn't think that. I'm I'm saying I'm saying his politics, if you weighed each each, each of their politics, Obama or McCain, if right. you weighed it, right. and you go, fuck, McCain stands for more things. I'm being hypothetical. Right. McCain stands for more things that I stand for. Would you vote yes. McCain? If I vote, if I, I wouldn't, be- motherfucker. If I believe in somebody, <laughs> if Fuck I believe, that. I'm not going to, you know what I'm never going to do? I'm never going to be somebody else for, for the, I think that for the sake of expediency. Like, I think we do too many things because we get caught up in the stream and go, I would vote for I a guy who, who I believed in, regardless of what, I don't believe in McCain. I don't believe in the Republican Party. Right. So that, that, I'm just no being hypothetical in but terms of. But it ain't of... no hypothetical for me. I'm going to vote what I want, regardless Patrice... of what, I, I don't hold but the But how about you? just being racist. I do. You're, being, you're being, being completely yes, racist. man. Okay. But, but, I, and, just, and I know it sounds great. <laughs> I just want to, look it, I don't think the motherfucker's going to change nothing. I don't think it's going right. to be the black dawn of anything. Let me tell you Whitey's point of view on this whole thing, though, is, and it's just what I said, black president, all bets are going to be off. And this is Whitey's but, but point of view. Good, good, every, every white guy is going to say now, <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a black fucking president. Shut the fuck so up. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. You I'm not shitting you. Yeah. Yeah. This, motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker got to the presidency of the United right. States. So can you. All bets are off. Right. Go fuck yourself. Right. That's what well, white is going to say. Pick your, pick your bootstraps up. Look, yes, not, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. You're going to say... Go to school, whatever the fuck it takes. Whatever people, he did to get into that office, <laughs> you can fucking do now. White people invent You transcended anything. racism. You invent anything... What? ...to make it comfortable for white folks. This is my thing. I don't want... <laughs> I don't want to hear... black. This is what I'm saying about black people. I We get into this thing where we try to be as... Di- diplomatic as you when we're talking mm-hmm. in terms of okay look this that and the third in terms of you know the viewpoint and, and I, I'm saying dude I I just want there to be a black president just as a symbol as you know as a as a symbol of pride it's not that we've Overcome, but it, it is that a little that bit. Is. Yeah, but it, you you feel like I, fuck, and this is a black I, president. I, I don't I don't disagree with you, but I'm gonna tell you this. I agree that what you're saying is right, but I agree also this that they are, the uh, you the minute that he gets in office, they are gonna say, "Hey man, you don't need affirmative action no more." And we, we no reparations. We, I'd rather cut one check than thirty three million. <laughs> 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 I, I, and I think that you can't have it both ways. You gotta right. be. You gotta say. You know what? This is what I want. This is what I signed up for. Me personally, I believe that he is better than McCain because I think he is a more. Uh, uh, he is a more worldly person. Like he gets. He doesn't have as myopic a view as McCain does. How about okay? But, how, but about a, how about if I did Armstrong that, Williams or say a Clarence Thomas was running the against me. was r- running against M- McCain? Then I vote for McCain. If it was Armstrong Williams and McCain, the same guy. <laughs> They're the same guy. Well, to me, I try never. I try. I, look, this is what I've always tried to do. Mm-hmm. I speak my mind. I don't. I ain't got no coalition. I'm gonna tell right. you what I think. Right. I believe Obama is clearly better than John McCain. I believe that. So, and you do too, right? Yeah, right. A lot of people do. No, no I, no, you. I don't like. No, me. I don't like uh, Obama's stance on a lot. He's too. He's too liberal for me. Right. I'm not a liberal guy. I like fucking guns. And here's what I, I like. like guns. Yeah. Here's what I I'm, like guns. Here's I what I'm offering guns. to you. This is what I'm saying in terms of this. Mm-hmm. I like dope, this whole guns. thing. I like everything, yeah. right, bitches? <laughs> I'm, I'm offering you. Then you, then you like. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can shoot a bitch white. No. <laughs> Anthony just doesn't want to look at that face behind the podium with the white hat. Exactly. Like, Come on. Day one. Exactly. I think that's it. I think that, that is not. Here's, here's what I'm offering you, Anthony, on this. I'm offering you the black presidency now Mm -hmm. so that when you make any statement based not on color Mm -hmm. as you claim quote unquote signs sure then i could possibly go with you without thinking that i'm speaking purely right now right somebody said what if there was a white if there was if a white person said i'm only going to vote for him because he's white would that be if there had only been black presidents 
Mm-hmm. Then if a white person said, boy, I want to see a white president, would I understand? Yeah. The fact is, our commander in chief has been nothing but old white guys. If Hillary had went through, I would rather see just to see a woman president. Right. Then you can go. I don't like his politics and I can go. Fair enough. Just like if you go, I don't like Donovan McNabb. If there was only one black quarterback ever, I, I'll go, you fucking racist. But there's a lot. They broke ground. Now you cannot like a that, black that, that, guy that, that, without I see what, that. You're I see not what you're allowed saying. to dislike I see what you're Barack saying. Obama right now. He's the first black president. Yeah, because the second, you, the so, second so you what say, you're yeah. saying, what you're saying is that no matter, honestly, how shitty you thought he was, no matter how. So if it was between Armstrong Williams and John McCain, you still pick Armstrong because he was black. As painful as that is, that I couldn't do it. I couldn't do I it. I would. I'd go. I don't, he, like, it I, would just be too enormous for me. Cause you I just want an icebreaker. You I, want an icebreaker. I just would. I'd vote Colin Powell. This is another thing too. This is what I'm saying. How come Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice aren't black leaders? How come but only you, you, motherfuckers y'all don't like? Are our leaders? You understand? Wait, 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 wait! Because because black community, Uncle Tom, we don't we don't, don't, we don't, we we don't appoint our fucking leaders. You do. You White people do. No. Yes, you do. Farrakhan and, and Sharpton. No, when is the last time Condoleezza Rice or Colin Powell gathered people? But they're black no, and that. they That's lead. Why because are Colin they Powell, black leaders? Because Colin them Powell the didn't behind them. That, come out uh, and march like a Reverend Al would. Um, I don't he, know one he black person that to, thinks Reverend Al is a leader. But I don't really. I don't. Th- I, I, I personally don't know one person. Reverend Al does. Looks at, but he <laughs> yeah. That, I think leaders don't appoint themselves. That just kind of happens. I think that I can respect Condoleezza. I don't agree with her views. Mm-hmm. I respect what she's done. I respect what Colin Powell has done. Like to, to, you can't have. Now would you, would you vote for Colin Powell? I would vote for Colin Powell because I think that he's a bright, uh, uh, worldly man who actually understands. Would you vote for Condoleezza Rice? I, w- I, w- I, w- I couldn't see vote for Condoleezza Rice. I couldn't see. I couldn't this see. This is why it, I couldn't it, see. It. This I could is not see. And this is a, this is why it has to be but see, you a said, fucking black president, so that you can just it can. Patrice, it, racism will still still be there, but at least I can listen to you. I understand so what you you're saying. You said. Re- <laughs> I just need it. I needed to have Patrice happen, wants but, to but, vote but, for someone based on the color of their skin and not the content of their character. I love the, uh, the way you think. Did you steal? You motherfucker! <laughs> oh, who the, who the fuck said that? Did you just steal from a black man? Who just said that? Oh fuck! Wait a minute. Don't be doing white tricks with me. You using I'm using Jedi. What the fuck am I? Obi Wan Kenobi? You know the funny thing? That's not what you can do for your country. It's no question to me that Barack Obama is clearly more. The more of my mindset than 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 uh, McCain. If he were now, not, what's his politics? If he were not, if he were not, I would not have. If he were not, I wouldn't have a problem not voting for him. What's his politics that that would go? Okay, I'm I'm voting for him because of his politics. Here's why I'm voting for him because I think that he at least has has a a, a more worldly view. He's not as myopic and he's not as connected to one mindset. Like like McCain in in two thousand, I loved McCain. I thought he was a smart, uh, independent, uh, uh, you know, kind of a uh, you know uh, in, uh, independent thinker and who did his own kind of thing. And he he was a maverick. I bought that thing. But is he really myopic though? I mean, he's pretty like a conservative. He's like a pretty liberal know, Republican. But, he's against torture. Like a lot of the things that the conservative. No shit, he's against no, torture. No, <laughs> but the way, the way, the way, as opposed to what? Yeah. A lot of them no, go with whatever the CIA. Or but but to he do. did. Well, to, William is against he plungers. <laughs> <laughs> McCain, McCain started pandering to the religious right as soon as he got in trouble. Like, he started panning into the religious right as soon as he got trouble. If he believes what he believes, that's fine. I personally believe Barack Obama. Not, and, but who I, did pander, by but, the way, when who, he dropped out of church? I do mm. not. Let me let me get this straight. I think, and I'm a... You think he clearly, was more qualified than Hillary? All, I, don't, I think everybody lies on their job application. I don't think he was... Uh, any more or less qualified than her, but I I would ha- I would have been happy with either one. Of them. I don't have to hate her to love him. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to go ooh she's so I didn't have to have uh, you know I didn't have to go ooh she's her- terrible he's great. I think all I hope all politicians in fairly low esteem. I guarantee he just is better women, to me than her. Women would have voted. And here's the cutoff. This is the weird I mean, thing. The, the the strange thing is okay women would have had to choose like okay if you're a black woman you would have to choose Obama. Like either your color or your gender or whatever that case may be. If if Hillary had a made it to the to the primary and she mm-hmm. had made it through as a candidate, I'd have voted for her because she's a woman. Just that, that would never do that. I, 
I, I would never do. Yeah. I just would have to, man. I would never. You know what? My, I, I just this is this is so fucking. It happened to be, to say, and, and the fact that they were Democrats made it made it easier. So, if, I if they were Republican, it would it would have been. I'm you know. telling you, I don't believe people died in March and and went through all the bullshit they go through. So I can hold some some bullshit line in my head. People have to earn my respect. Just like I got to go out there and earn respect from people. If I don't respect the motherfucker, I'm not voting for him. I don't give a shit what they got next to their name, who they are, what their gender is. And I think that it's that mindset. It really, it's that mindset that got people. People voted for George Bush clearly because they went, I want a guy who talks like me. I want a guy who... But, and, 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 but, and, but and, DL, I want a guy who's just as dumb as I am. DL, fr- fr- uh, uh, I'm, I'm Jackie, a, Jackie, Robinson, Jackie Robinson was known. Not to, to be, be the, best, the best, not even the 10 top black players right. was Jackie Robinson known right. to be. He was just that nigga, which is Obama. He's that nigga. He's my, he That's got exactly white what you said, Anthony. <laughs> meaning, meaning, <laughs> he does all the things. Jesus. All the things that. <laughs> That a black guy has to do to make white people I, feel comfortable. I, that's what I, we, my, my he's problem, that guy. Mm. My problem is I don't like people. When when white people like something, I tend to go, wow, why do they like them? <laughs> it's like, a little well, suspicious. Probably, no, 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 honestly, wait, I kind of go, I kind of go. D- wow. Dale, I'm with you, but I'm saying they Jackie like Robinson. Martin, they, Jackie Robinson had to get in. He just had to get in. Now you, but you, we're talking apples and oranges. One is a baseball team, which is pure, purely for entertainment. Another guy's going to be ruling the fucking world. I wouldn't. No, I, I wouldn't say. And and how much I, I of the world think, is he going to be ruling? How think, powerful is the president? I, I, I think. The president I think of the fucking me. United he States. He's a fucking you know, symbol. Not, not as powerful as a lot of people like to think or Kenny think. B. But uh, pretty fucking somebody powerful. Can, somebody can tell him to go fuck himself. Like, he has to get things voted on. Well, he can't just make rules. Let me tell you something. George Bush Is was powerful dick. enough to have a fucking war going on he, over in Iraq. He had, no, he had the backing of the country. No shit. How did he get that? How did he get that? But right. he, but he, he duped. Congress and to give him all the power. It's pretty powerful, he, isn't that's it? That's not power. That's whatever just, he did, whatever he did was it, his it fucking was, power. It was emotions from from the country Patrice, at the time. How is that not power? That's not fucking that power. That is power. That's manipulation. Yeah, yeah. is power. Is manipulation power? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, no, you're wrong. It is. is. They, they can ve- he has veto power. power. He's he's fair enough. He has veto power. The president can veto almost anything. He can say no, but he can't say yes. He can veto. He can't just make rules. He fucking got. But he got did. But it was based on Colin us. Powell it was based on and everyone else. It was based on our ignorance and fear. Oh, right. Exactly. Thank and you. I'm a, and I'm gonna say the same thing again. Thank you. Never will I ever give my vote to somebody just because somebody tells me I'll never be pressured to think like anybody. What's else. What's your gut I feeling on on Barack? I, be, I believe honestly. Your gut. I don't Fuck know all him. the politics. I don't gut. know him. You don't know. I don't know him. Him. I don't know McCain either, so I'll take the lesser. The, the, <laughs> that did go. That basically but, but saying not, what I'm saying. No, no, no. What you're saying is you would vote for the black person in any circumstances. What I'm saying Armstrong is Armstrong Williams and all that shit is a tough said, one. You, though. You that is those Armstrong are tough Williams. names. I know. <laughs> Just to test myself. How, how, how fucked up? <laughs> this is my thing. How fucked up are you? <laughs> this, is a, this, is the, this is the indictment of George Bush's presidency. How fucked the president of you when the option is we gonna vote for the black guy? That's what, <laughs> oh, wow. When they go, we want the black yeah. guy. <laughs> Shit is your library is gonna be he really hey, fucked oh up. Oh my god! <laughs> but I, I I never I have never believed. Oh god, damn. I've never believed. And there matters when I believe race is the is the issue. I, if you if you ask me uh, what I think on any number of things, I but I will never vote for somebody just because they were a woman or they lived in my neighborhood or they were this or they were that. You don't come to me just having respect just because you walk up to me. I have. You to think you'd be you. emotional if he gets if he gets voted president? Sure. Sure I will. At, to see hmm. a black man go through the struggles that he's Jesus. gone through and the stuff that he's gone through. But I've never seen a... <laughs> he, here's, here's my thing. I've never seen a person so lauded and so... so uh, it makes It scares me that people are putting... Uh, uh, you know, you would think Jesus is here. And he's, <laughs> he's a politician. But could he be? Could he possibly be the dude... Let's say underneath all of that was Farrakhan Jr. <laughs> okay. Could he really... Let's say if Farrakhan was the president. <laughs> could he really do what white people are afraid he might do? Could he really... Well, as a newly patriated French person, I wouldn't know. 
I want to see a split screen of Obama getting inducted and just see like uh, Patrice and Anthony both crying for completely different reasons. <laughs> but I tell you this, I it'll be you like this. the OJ verdict. Just like, just like the OJ verdict. <laughs> right. I believe I, at the time I believe OJ was innocent when I watched it. Oh, now, shit. what? Wow. Hey, it's true. I fucking I believe he's innocent. Wow. Now seeing it now, I go. Wow, that motherfucker did it. <laughs> and After would, that book, I, if I killed the bitch, when right, he wrote right. a book called, if I killed the bitch, and, 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 and this I is what I would have done. I wouldn't have a problem <laughs> saying out loud, I believe he did it. Like, but but I didn't when I when I watched the trial. It's very emotional for me. I just kind of went, oh man, they, they DL, now let's, that's so odd. That proof is a whole different way of looking. Because I looked at that trial and just said he's guilty. You totally look, guilty. You're, you're politically savvy, man. You're a savvy that's, guy. You're a savvy guy. Now, but but I'm saying. There's never, there, you've never been racially, m things weren't racially motivated in terms of, uh, in, in your life, like the OJ verdict. Look, sure was. I, I, that is, it's a ra things are racially motivated, man. You gotta have this thing man. with, I, I, I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna take that lowest road, if, if you wanna call it, where I'm like, fuck that man i want to see the black president because we've lived through some fuck this nigga that's the president now this goofy motherfucker that's got us in the war How, could he be worse than him no come the fuck on man yeah, i want to see but, but it i want to see the black president but that's, that's based, it that i want to see i i'm going like a, a, we, we get to the same conclusion on you taking the 405 and i'm taking the <laughs> I, I believe that he's a better he's the best candidate we have now and I believe that he is better suited for the gig than McCain. Probably because he'll live through the inauguration. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure McCain would live through the swearing in. But I would never, me personally, vote for some, Like, OJ, I had to believe he was innocent. I mm -hmm. had to really believe it. And I, for whatever reason. And when I learned, when I when I looked at other things, I went, oh, maybe he, it isn't what I thought it was. I have no problem admitting whether I'm wrong or right. Race <laughs> plays a, race plays a part in, in a lot of things I do. But as far as me voting for somebody, or as far as me looking at a situation objectively, I just try to be as human as possible. Do you think that the people that fought in the civil rights movement, Jim Crow days and all yeah. that, do you think, okay, that they would be happy if he became the president just because he was black? I think they, of course. Sure. So why... I don't. Well, you you asking me? You ask me. That's apples and oranges. I, Am well, I not really? I'm not giving it. I'm not giving anybody anything just because they're anything. Is my point. No, nobody, I, 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 I nobody ever point. gave me one thing because I was anything. So I would never give that. I, he mm -hmm. he walks the same earth I do. Puts on his pants the same way I do. I gotta go out and earn respect. He gotta earn go it. We do agree. He has. He has done. Fuck it too. him on <laughs> right some I'm level not. like he's the Messiah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all I'm that. I'm only talking about. Uh, a symbol and not a symbol uh, it's a it's a symbol of it might even like i always picture like niggas stop shooting each other because the black president like that, that all right be why not like, would not be nice that but i'm saying nice. if he's the black president it's like let's just make him pro let's be right let's but it'll, you maybe it'll it. write in us up just because he's the black president no, you, you can't have it both ways here's what i believe i believe that if if he is president and we don't as a people kind of go that is our cue to elevate ourselves. That is our cue. If this dude came from Indonesia, Hawaii, Kansas, I don't even know where he's from. So I couldn't, like this dude, the last time I saw a dude from that many places, he was running from the police. But, <laughs> but if he has found a way to connect with America that way, then it is in us all. And, and you know what? When they take everything away, because that's what's going to happen. Everybody's going to say, you know what? If this cat can do it, all you guys can do it. Now it's a level playing field. We're giving you, the, 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 you this guy's elevated from nothing to the highest uh, uh, position in the world. I think that it is a challenge that we have to kind of accept. We have to kind of go, you know what? The game has changed. But you can't have it both ways. But he got to be the president. You, you can't say, I want him to be president and I still yeah. want all this other shit. We because you're you gonna give something up to get. You got to give to get. And I really believe that that in this situation there is not a more. And I don't respond to him because he's a speaker. Because I think all do, uh, you know all politicians speak. I think that he's clearly the more candidate. If I did more qualified candidate. If I didn't think it, two things. I wouldn't have a problem saying it, and I wouldn't have a problem not voting for. Him. Mm -hmm. I would never vote for somebody just because uh, uh, somebody said that. I, I I don't go to meetings where people go, "Hey man, this is the way we feel about this." I'm <laughs> right. tell you how I feel. 
I, 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 ain't, I ain't part of the collective. Just like when when people feel a certain way yeah. about like all the bullshit that people get into about how you should speak and what you should think is funny. True that. I, ain't no collective for me. But I'm then, but you gotta person. understand now that there there Can is an outside there is an yeah. outside there is an outside effect in terms of okay, black people aren't really the, the toughest thing I think to be being black as you're younger is to be individual. Is to say, right. this is what I think, right. fuck the other shit. Right. Mm -hmm. And really, I'm saying what I think, because I know there's a lot of black people who are like, fuck that. I'm not even voting for him now. You know, I'm not going to vote for him because he's black. Fuck him. I don't like him or whatever. His stance on abortion is this is that. I'm saying, dude, it's bigger. It's so big because, you know, watching Roots <laughs> and, and just feeling how I felt watching Roots, feeling how I felt, felt watching Rosewood, just, just the basic instinct of anger you have towards white people on a general basis. It's hard for me to just be in here sometimes and just be your friend. <laughs> and listen to my shit. And just because just, just <laughs> you're white, is, there's a, there is a natural instinct not to like white folks. You know and, it's and so I, odd. And I just, and I just want... I just want to just go... Alike, you but you know what? You I, look at Patrice, I look at Patrice and go, I don't even think of you as a black guy. And but this see, is the God's honest truth. <laughs> if you I don't know look what at you, you think he was a black guy. And yet, if, like if, if you're like walking, down, walking street, down the street, yeah. I'd fucking be on the other side right, of the street. Right, right. In a but, second. Under, but see, that's why I understand. <laughs> I, I understand that shit. It's like, you know, but me knowing and Lord you would never be friends outside of the fact that we're friends. It's, I, I wouldn't bump into him in the street mm -hmm. or whatever. There is a just a, a, a. I just would love to feel something that I know I've never really felt before. Um. Externally, yeah, but, but, externally, but that's like, different fuck. though, Patrice. That's that's the system. Here's, that that's different. I want to see a black president. I get it, but I would never vote for somebody just because they were anything. And you said something that was absolutely true. The hardest thing for a black person to do is to be an individual. Is to say this is how I feel. This is what, and, and like and, Michael and, Vick, dude. I fucking hated that motherfucker for that. But people, you know, you get a preponderance of the media where black people go, nigga, black people don't give a fuck about no dogs. Right. And I'm like, I love dogs. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I didn't, I, 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 that's, that's nuanced for me. Like, like with the, with the whole, I, I, the Anonymous thing, I thought it was a dumb joke. And I thought it was, you know, I don't, I, I don't think, what I, what I do is I go, how the fuck do I feel? I don't go on the Black America website. I don't and go, that's I don't a hard, and that's jet. a hard thing to I do. Go, I, I do that too. I it's very fucking difficult. When I was defending Don Imus, right. I'm telling you, and it's not motherfuckers are my spacing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, are you fucking kidding me? Did right. you just call me a mm -hmm. Uncle fucking Tom? <laughs> I'm here defending any black. That's why I called DL. Yeah. Which I, I love this too. This is a great story. Um, which made me start calling people from a um, block number. <laughs> I reached out. I found this motherfucker to get me to call. He called me from a block number and didn't give me his fucking phone number. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, but I'm saying that I'm made me. I, you I know didn't what I did? No, no, no. You, you, you know, and I said to myself, I go, you know, I'm doing that shit too. Niggas ain't gonna have my motherfucking number. You know what I teach? This is the truth. What, what a great statement about what a great statement about career positions. <laughs> oh, yeah. and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. This is what I, I what I teach my, my son particularly. Man, be when a man stands by himself. Like it ain't never. Like my father said, you came in this world, you're probably gonna die alone. Uh, you gonna come? You can go out of the world alone. Man, being an individual and having your own mindset and understanding how you feel is the ultimate responsibility. And it's the ultimate freedom. To me, I want my son, if he's nothing else, to be human and to literally look at the situation. Bravo. And, 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 no, no, no. But, but, but my, my, not, not, not the grandstand. And to, yeah, and to give it. no man respect he hasn't earned simply because he's anything. Simply because he's an athlete. Simply because he's... You, you give any human being a certain amount of respect. I, just for me personally... I don't. I don't look at what people tell me. I look at what they do. But look, there's something deeper about black people's illness in terms of this. Like this is what I, you don't. Yeah, is this BT we radio? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know people. You know, know goes, what I, are these motherfuckers doing? <laughs> you know. You know there's some truckers driving off of <laughs> <Right>. fucking <laughs> real quick, <laughs> screaming at the radio. Why aren't you guys saying anything to them? <laughs> <laughs> Let the two niggas fight it out. All Please. this, all this We're oogly boogly talk. Right, right. We're Why scared. They just, oogly boogly. Why don't they just play bongos? Help, help us. They hijacked our show. We're too scared to talk. First, the president never taking over. 
Patrick and Anthony show. <laughs> hey, Patrice, by the way, there's 300. And give me some chicken. There's 304 million people in the United States, and there's 243 million whites and just under uh, 40 million blacks. You know why people come up with Wait facts. a minute. So, hmm. two, so is how many, is how <laughs> many <laughs> people in this country? We'll go on the website and you said, you said this then. You there's were, 304 million people in this country. Yeah, right. you said there's 300 million 200 and what? 43. <laughs> 43 million white and 40 million blacks? Yes. There's only 20 more million other motherfuckers here? Chinese, well, you Puerto Ricans, Mexicans? Well, Spanish people that are black that they don't know. Yeah, well, are you serious? Are. That's what they're saying. Only That's wrong. That's what they're saying. Well, geez, you can't say that's I'm wrong. I'm saying that's fucking wrong. <laughs> there's no more fucking goddamn Puerto Ricans and Mexicans well, in this Puerto country Ricans than us. Puerto Ricans are just niggas who can swim. That's all they are. They're the same thing. They count as all the same shit. No, these are the same thing. This is probably this is probably citizens. Same thing. What is that from? Nineteen what? Oh one, July two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. This is what's going to be estimated uh, next month when they uh, put the numbers out. But I mean, these are these are citizens, obviously. This right. isn't the illegals. Got some and all backing. That. Right, Why don't we take a? Oh, you know what? You're not counting illegals. You're right. That, that, Why don't we take a break? Room. We got D.L. Hughley in studio. He's playing Caroline's uh, all weekend long. And no, uh, first the no? rally, what? then Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> me and, me and yeah. are leading people. <laughs> get the red, get your red bow ties out. <laughs> I get the so upset that then us, dude. I can't get the passion up uh, to, to talk politics. I just can't. It's, it's not it's, even it's a politics thing. No, this is all just human thing. I like the point. Politics. That TL uh, said, and and being an individual is probably the most well, he important said it first. thing. But you said it, this first. It, no, because Patrice is saying he's he's. Gonna... Oh no! Wait, wait! Before you finish, my brain is fried. Okay. So I wanted to say something real quick, mm -hmm. real quick you about. You never say anything real quick. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Let me say something. I'm gonna try to Let say something trigger. real quick. Go. Oh. <laughs> they they understand. Is is the, is the black is that is when that's the one thing about it's okay when we <laughs> do something. Like, mm -hmm. When we do something, yeah, it's like, oh, you people, we we have to defend every black dude. That's the thing. When no, you, we don't. When, we don't. I know what you're saying. We don't. But I'm saying externally, we don't. But internally, for some reason, when a nigga fucks up, all of the black people got to go, oh, I we got to make right. an excuse. I don't and you don't. But as as a whole group, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but white people, when white people fuck up, that white person fucked up. Not the whole as a whole you get to I enjoy not, being an you're individual right. you're right because as white people, even without the pressure externally of going you don't, there's never white pride it's never open white pride it's, yeah because people you can't yeah. Yeah. yeah holy shit you can't fuck it i would love to march down the street hey whitey well, you, you, can't can't fucking you, do. you could do it if it wasn't if i was yeah, behind I you. You. well that's <laughs> true <laughs> but i just you know what it is if i wasn't half sicilian too and by the way we do have white pride every time we see each other in the supermarket we'll look at pasteurized milk just kind of waking each other <laughs> <laughs> the light bulb ah uh, you know <laughs> open heart surgery oh we did that <laughs> <laughs> did you really you know what to, to me is this all they Everybody was always, helping. everybody always asks you like I always get like uh, even when I came in for the first time, how do black? I can never tell you how black people feel. We no. are a whole race of people that got. How can you talk for one race of people that got flavor, flavor, and Colin Powell? Right. You know what I'm saying? How does one dude encapsulate all of that? All you can ever do is speak. And I and I hate people. Anybody who doesn't speak their own mind, who goes with the collective, is a fucking sheep. Mm -hmm. That's all you are. All you're doing is what somebody told you. Yeah. You might as well be a fucking robot. That, that, I get it. I understand. That's easier to do. I, I understand. That's why I hate the party line shit. Like, why? If I if I'm a Republican, why do I have to be against women getting abortions? But that's unless they're mine. That's <laughs> <it>. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a yeah. fucking huge Second Amendment guy. But I'm also for a woman's right to choose. I'm insane then as a fucking Republican. But 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 my thing is that I just became a Democrat two years ago. I was an independent for all of you because mm -hmm. I never even liked the kind. I like to pick. I like guns. I, I think. Well, let me tell right. you something. Guns now that's against your party no, it ain't. for the most part. No, it's against, I, but I look here. I I uh, I dig guns. I think abortion. I think uh, we should be legal. I think that we are too fiscally irresponsible. I think that uh, uh, the uh, I think that any you want less government I think in your life. I, I, I want a lot less government in my mm -hmm. life. I think that religion is too enc is encroaching too much in government. So I, what I've done is, is tell you how I feel. I didn't. I don't go. What does the D say or what does the R say? I tell you how I but feel. But most of the people in these parties that you're forced 
pretty much to vote for because they fucking run cheat. right along the party line. So who the fuck are you going to vote for? But even that, even like when everybody's having the, the black primary president, thing. <laughs> <laughs> I even got that, all that confusion out, motherfucker. <laughs> the black president, even, even when party line, was having my the primaries, left ball, nigga. When they was having the primaries, I didn't think. I don't think that America responds to ethereal talk. I think that America want like people are. We're not going to respond to the politics of fear. Your whole fucking life is fear. Your mother says do this or that'll happen. Mm. This job says either do this or I'll fire you. Religion says do this or you're going to hell. Fear runs us all. The bottom line to me is I, I, I think that America gets what it wants and it always pick makes it, it makes poor decisions because it's generally in, ill-informed and makes decisions based on all kind of bullshit that doesn't. It's 50 million Americans don't have health care. You ask the average person, do they think you should have health care? They go, yeah, you should have it. You, you put you, you say socialized medicine and then they go, fuck you. I'm mm -hmm. not paying for it. Right. Yeah. I don't think you should die in this country. Uh, uh, I don't care what if, if you're lazy or whatever. I was just in Edmonton, Alberta. They have the best economy whoa, whoa, in the whoa, northern. Whoa, 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 motherfucker! Why wasn't there an interruption there, Jack? Because I'm waiting to talk about how Senator uh, Kennedy uh, and his you brain hate this tumor. Fucking and thing. if it, if 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 we had socialized medicine like Senator Kennedy wanted, he would still have that. Fucking orange in his head. Why because it would, because you don't fucking step up to a hospital, get the best doctor, and say, "Hey, take the tumor out of my head." You wait on a fucking list. You sit and wait for a fucking doctor. You're not getting the best doctor. So you should and get, you should get, fucking you should get, But he's a rich motherfucker, and he was able to get whatever he wants. But, and but, but and that's America. Is, You're not. Why the fuck did this country turn into something, something where everyone's entitled to something instead something. of working up to him? Because we working up to getting the brain tumor removed from things. your head. <laughs> what, is, what the fuck is wrong with you? Spoiled bastard. Exactly. We got He is a spoiled bastard. We have to do two things. If we're not going to be the America we espouse, then let's not be, like we let's be Russia. Let's be as shitty as we think we as we say that. But we're gonna put God in our constitution, and we're gonna act like we're a judo Christian society, and we're a Judeo Christian society, and we are a nation of laws and rules, and we're a nation of human rights and dignity. A human being should never die because it is po they're poor. I don't give a fuck why they are. Anyone can go into the fucking hospital. You go to the emergency room. Some people are going to get <sighs> shitty care. Anthony, Some people are going to get good care. Hold did on. Did you just hear this, that point? I did. Did you used to be poor? Yes. Do you think you should have been dead if you couldn't afford to live? If You know something? If I was fucked up when I was poor, I, then I'd be dead. That's the fucking country. No, no, no. That's not, I asked you, do you but, think you what? should be dead because you couldn't afford to be alive? Uh... No, but in certain circumstances, that's just the way we this fucking is. We are a country is. that fights to have the Pledge of Allegiance, and, and, and we're fights that we we fight to have prayer in school. We fight to have prayer in school. Right. We fight to bring God. That's in our based life. on this puritanical but bullshit but that saying, started hundreds of years but ago. But I'm saying, if it, you are going to put God in your life and talk about how you love Jesus and how we're a Christian society, the very tenet of Jesus, regardless of what people think, is that you love the poor and the sick. Yeah. That's what you do. What? Now, if you're going to take Jesus out, we're going to be a country that, that 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 is just kind of a pluralistic country. We don't give a fuck about anything. That's fine. But if you're going to if you're going to talk about how much you love Jesus, then and how much uh, how, how uh, you can't even you can't be president unless you do you can't literally be president of the United States of America unless you go to church and kill convicts. Well, you know, you can't. <laughs> you, you can't. You, Obama pretty soon is going to have to shoot some. Well, your personal fucking religion, <laughs> your personal shit, as far as religion goes, isn't supposed to, and you said, isn't supposed to encroach in but on the does. government. But it does. But it's not supposed to. It's written there. Separation of well, church and state. We're not supposed to pay taxes, but we do. Exactly. That, I don't like that either. Okay, so... But, so, the, but the thing is... <laughs> you just a fucking... You're poor, rich trash. Like you're, you're rich, hysterical, Patrice. You're just a piece you're of another, garbage, but you're a millionaire. Let me just, let me just, let me just say this. <laughs> Fucking bastards. When did this country? Become the country where everyone's entitled to the same fucking thing. There are poor no, people. Different. There are rich people. Hold on, hold on. There are poor people and there are rich people in this country. It's what this country is based on. If you're lucky and you make something yourself, you have uh, <laughs> some skill, whatever the fuck it is. Listen to your laugh. No, I'm laughing. This laughing. is what America is no, made I'm for. I'm laughing. Some at... people fall on their ass and fucking get nowhere. <laughs> I'm laughing and others, because there's you a think lot America's of ass on that? falling people that That's listen to this show That's what this whole show fucking right country now. was. Based Based on no, the country was built. It based. wasn't based to come here because we're going to no. give you what the fuck uh, you you want. This country was based. Wasn't guaranteed on, on, on exploiting 
uh, it really was. It was based on black labor. It was black labor. Free black then it was labor. Italians. Then it was Africans. Now it's the Mexicans. It's that new term. They the mm-hmm. new niggas. But the bottom line is, this country was based on exploiting somebody and and getting rich from it. That's what happened. Now it is becoming a place where people have felt bad about their past and are trying to right a lot of the wrongs of the past. So a lot of things that wouldn't have happened had white but, guilt. But if we if we are going to be a country where every time every time I turn around, some politician is saying we are the moral authority in the world, and right after that, a commercial will come off of Girls Gone Wild. If we're going to be a moral authority, if we're going to constantly talk about Jesus and how, constantly talk about elephant, like the country now, talking about change, we need to change, we need to change the two minutes, we are the we we've been waiting for, we, it's changing the tone of the mm-hmm. country, then you have to accept all, just like I told him, you have to accept all that comes along with, uh, mm-hmm. when, when Obama's, uh, you have to accept the fact that this country is going to have to do some of the things it actually about. So it's people really are, so, so then everyone is entitled by just being an American, you're entitled to certain things, whether yep. you not, work for them yep. or not, whether you're, you're you lucky enough to have. I don't think you. I don't think you. Should, I don't think any human being. I think that we place such a value on. We we love money so much in this country. We put God on our money, <laughs> so we can have everything in the same space. Mm-hmm. But uh, to me, I just am a as a, from a human standpoint. I just don't believe. That people, your care should be better than some people because you can afford it. So, but, everybody but, but should. Everybody, way, nobody, everybody, should, everybody should eat. Right, everybody is, should eat because if you don't eat, you'll be dead. Yeah. So or if everybody right. can't somebody. eat, somebody you you're just dead. Some motherfuckers just they don't have enough food to fucking eat. Why? What? Because they're lazy pieces of shit. No, I don't know. I'm asking you why. Because oh, fucking that. look, man, motherfuckers. Why? Look, man. Some people can't look. When I grew up. We we was on on welfare, yeah. and but I'm gonna be quite honest. My mother was stealing. So was it. I? Listen to me. My mother was stealing it. So was mine. But okay, she wasn't stealing it, and I was walking around with the brand new Nike. She was stealing it, working and on welfare. Yep. Just to get a little bit more, just some food, some extra fucking food. Cause to eat right, a fucking fish, one fish, seventy five dollars a pound. <laughs> A whole pig, the fuck is a in the dime. Fridge? You know what I'm saying? Like you can eat a whole fucking pig for nothing and die, <laughs> or you can try to eat right and lettuce is this expensive, or fish is that expensive, or fucking something that's not gonna give you a fucking heart attack mm-hmm. costs more money than the average that's- thing. It's fucked up. It you can come out of your goddamn Shelby money. And fucking give me a, a piece of corn. Where does it fucking have to stop then? Do we all have to equal out? Uh, yeah, that's communism, man. Where, 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 thank you. That. Thanks for saying it then, but You Patrice. know what's funny to me? When Thanks I, for saying when, it. When I grew up, my, my, <laughs> I remember being my, my mother having to, because when you go on, uh, we used to get fruits, fruit, uh, 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 lunch tickets. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching my father, my mother made him fill out the thing so she, get, she can get a little extra. And I watched my father cry. And I said, and and uh, I never understood, but he hated the fact that he had to subjugate himself to get a little mm-hmm. extra. That taught me something. I'm 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 always going to. I believe that I'm going to be as human as possible. Of course, if you work hard, there's some lazy motherfuckers out there that don't deserve, you know, to live in a great Nothing house. Right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't die. Like it, like the the mortgage crisis. Here's the thing we do. Who thought it was a good idea to give a motherfucker making three thirty five an hour a million dollar home loan? <laughs> exactly. Like, who thought that? But who's 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 the dumb motherfucker that looks at his budget and and decides okay, he's going to get then, that house? Then, then then we do then we do this. That's fine. I get that. We'll bail out the bank that made the predatory Ooh. loans, but not the people that took them. We'll bail out railroads that are shitty business model, but not the people that ride them. We'll bail out the airline industry. Like after 9-11, we gave them billions mm-hmm. of dollars, and they're a shitty business model. And now seven of those people are going, we'll give corporations chances that we never give human beings. That's my problem. If you go, you, you take welfare away from poor people and you say you ain't fucking working, the, the, but you'll give those, you'll give those same tax breaks to Exxon and Mobile who, who don't even need it and you don't blink an eye at it. I, so, I agree with that to a point, but the, the reason the, the airlines uh, got bailed out and, and the railroads and stuff is because we need fucking planes okay, and trains. We might need planes, you know, this but poor we don't motherfucker need that went broke. We don't need, we don't need, it's seven, you know why airlines go broke? That's why they're going broke, yeah. Because they're shitty business models. Because mm-hmm. they, they're late, they pay too much money, and you know what happens to a shitty business model? It goes away. 
It, we don't need 19,000 airlines. We just need good ones and mm -hmm. efficient ones. You know the only airline that didn't have to lay off anybody or take any money from the government was Southwest. Now, everybody laughs at them and talks about them. They're a great business model. They yeah, it's because they, they weren't fucking paying the mechanics <laughs> to fix the plane. <laughs> right. Yeah, motherfuckers are flying well, no, buses. American did the same thing. America, <laughs> but, but, but the thing about it is we, will, we, will, we look at corporations differently than we do look at people. Now, I understand we need corporations, but you would never... You'll tell me how you shouldn't bail out the people that made a predatory loan. Banks were ripping those people off left and right. And what they figured would happen, they wouldn't be able to make the loan, they'd pay me, and mm -hmm. we'll get the house back and can sell it again. They didn't know they were going to all of a sudden yeah. have a whole soap of houses they couldn't sell. I know, but the, it, that, that just, uh, people sometimes are fucking stupid. Do you think you're getting $10 million from Nigeria in your email? You don't, the bank stupid, you don't give a fuck, Anthony. Was the bank stupid? The bank was stupid. No, apparently the bank is pretty fucking Anthony, smart. Are there, gonna any, on a are house. there any But now people, the banks are in trouble because now they they're stupid. Are there <laughs> any people in need? <laughs> so, so let's say it was two stupid people. Mm -hmm. We just told, chose the richer stupid person. That's what happened. We and, bail out Anthony, those banks. Are there any people in need that you give a fuck about that you go, man, these people need help. And I, I, I would like to help. Them. It's the people on commercials that I never fucking see. And you know who it is? It's these fucking father, mother, and two kids in a homeless shelter that just ain't ever in a fucking homeless shelter. <laughs> they fell through the cracks of society. The husband <laughs> lost his job. This could happen to any man. No, it's a lunatic in a snorkel jacket on a hundred degree day fucking going, can I get some money? That's the fucking shit. That's, that's the needy that I don't give a fuck about. Can you about. do the black snorkel homeless man again? <laughs> Can I have some money? <laughs> <laughs> you know him, huh? Oh fuck! I, I, I know have, him a lot. I have, I have, I have like I, there, there are people I don't have tolerance. I don't have tolerance for bullshit. Yeah, I, I don't you, either. I, I'm tired of people, you know, doing whatever the fuck they do. But and I'm I also... chase mullet-headed white fucking junkies away too. <laughs> I tell them go fuck yourself. You ain't getting a quarter from I'm me. I'm also tired of people. Like I just think three. If the government did three, four things, I'd be fine. I think if they gave everybody a decent quality education. I think if they protect, gave you some level... Gabe, isn't that in place? Hold on. Isn't that in place? If someone does well in school... How can you do... I don't let, understand. Let me give you an example uh, okay, from my okay. life. My kids went to school in inner city in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. In 1996, I moved to the Valley, which is the same school district, but it's the Valley, Los Angeles School District. My kids were three years... And they were doing well at their school. Three years behind those people. Three years. They were doing shit at that school <laughs> that we had never even seen. Why? So I had to... Well, I don't know why. You tell I, that's I just it. Why? I can't tell you why. Like I don't have the I don't have the why. And plus that ain't a good joke. Why? I don't know what the fuck that is. You fucking up my human interest. Story. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but but so I had to pay to this day. To this day, I had to pay tutors to catch my children up. And unfortunately, I was able to do it. My mm -hmm. daughter goes to Smith. Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, private college. I'm very proud of her. My son is in college. My daughter. I'm, she gonna be my daughter. That's the fuck she gonna be for the rest of her life. But <laughs> she ain't the brightest motherfucker. No matter how much I pay into it. But uh, but the idea that they go to the same school district that they worked hard that I thought I was doing everything I needed to do and they were still three years behind. And you ask me why, and I tell you I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you why because now it's richer out there. So I, I think that there's more, and certainly there's more involvement. It used to be a PT. You know, parents were. There, there's, there's. It, I don't think it's a hundred percent of one thing. I think it's one percent of a hundred thing. I think the parents need to be more involved in their children's life. Absolutely. I think that we need to place a higher premium on on education. But all of us do. Like I was reading, uh, we don't. Uh, none of us. We have to give hundreds of thousands of work visas away because we're not educated enough to do the the ma job that involves mathematics. We have to hire. Well, you from know, Pakistan this child, this India. child thing has nothing to do mm -hmm. with Anthony. No, you know something. Let's move along from I children. Pay, I pay motherfucking <laughs> school taxes up the ass. Why? Where I am? Because I, I don't have any kids, but I got to pay for the fucking schools I in my neighborhood. Well, you all, in my neighborhood, I got to pay for the fucking schools. Have them because they don't want money. they don't want the kids fucking winging rocks through my windows. So even people without kids got to pay through the fucking ass for the school tax. Well, fuck! I don't give a fuck about that. Fuck the kids. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the kids. Children. The children should be homeless. <laughs> yeah, fuck the children. I a very joking. a very you special episode of Open <laughs> yeah. Ass. You joke fuck around. You joke around. But they do use their fucking like five and six year old age status to fucking get away with shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God 
Goddamn Norton. <laughs> this motherfucker here. Uh, uh, and, I, I, and that's what I have to say about that. So thank you for yeah, listening to me. Tomorrow, oh, yeah. Richard Lies. I can't wait to see Richard Hook's article right. tomorrow. Um, Opie straightens everyone out on yes. race. <laughs> Opie's race discussion groundbreaking. Right. I'm going to be on the top right? of... Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to be on the top of the, the Drudge Report later today. <laughs> Opie's solve all race problems Can in America. Can we all agree now, on that was, what? Yes. We have to take a leak? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Dale yeah. Hughley at Caroline's. Uh, that was really interesting. 212-757-4100. Uh, yeah. He's there tonight through Sunday. And, of course, Patrice is at Comics uh, on 14th Street uh, tonight and tomorrow only. And Black Panther headquarters. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wherever that is these days. I know. Hold on. <laughs> what? What is it, 1967? What? I know. What that? Oh. Exactly. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> Black Panther. Then he's going Elders. to the Cotton Club. <laughs> and the Black Panther's house. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doing the pee-pee dance. We've got to take a break. Uh, you yeah. guys having fun or what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll continue in just a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take a break now. And Opie and Anthony and them Norton, that's our comic. He's going to keep you smiling. And we want you to be right there when we come back. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh my that's God. his legacy. That's ended. his getting shot in the head. Oh my God. He's the black president. I need a nap. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I agree with Patrice, Patrice on with that. You. All right. I agree with Patrice on that. I'm what a... we talked about during break. <laughs> hey, uh, that never happens. We're back with the live studio audience. I, I, I want to uh, do something really quick. I need another threesome. Let's uh, let's get <laughs> <laughs> let's get people. Uh, I want to know how many people out there. We have a very white audience looking at us right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and uh, I want to know how many of these guys and gals are voting for McCain. Raise your hand. Of course. Why yeah, would you even ask? Well, that's not... Th Look, it's not even... Of course. Shut up. <laughs> it's Jeff. Keep your hands up. Jeff, what do you want? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at how four, four five, five, other six, hands seven. went up. <laughs> and hold on, hold on. Do you see, you fucking liars? <laughs> they... Shut up. I'm trying to get your account here. <laughs> one, two, three, oh, four, good. five, six, seven, eight, it looks like, now, right? How many of you traitors... <laughs> <laughs> so we got eight for McCain. How many for Obama? There's a lot. There's three. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> oh, two. If that's the ratio, it's over now. <laughs> Wait, out of eleven. Hold on, hold on, man, bro. What? That's that's over twenty five percent, though. I mean, when you look at it like that, three and eight is uh, that out of eleven people, that is over twenty five percent. Yeah, but there's more than eleven. So what's going on with the other guys? You're just that's not what voting. I'm saying. Maybe they're wings. <laughs> Some of them kept their hand down and then left. The, it's oh. it's a dangerous thing. Mike? What? What happened? Oh, Who's? They're on. Everybody's oh. on. Oh, what happened? Oh. Yeah. No, I have fun. So what did that guy? He jumped up. What? Oh, I'm I'm definitely not voting for John McCain. No way. It's ludicrous. We've already lost four thousand men in this war. Uh, we definitely need a change in America. This and I think time. Obama's pretty optimistic. I certainly think he's qualified. Since uh, D.L. mentioned before about... Where somebody had some thoughts while that discussion was <laughs> <started. laughs> <laughs> The hand went up. When the yes. hand goes up, it's going to be a fucking wall. Dude, dude. You know what, dude? Everybody's got to just be themselves. You know what, dude? Black or white. <laughs> dude, <laughs> Fat Bob <laughs> Kelly. Uh, uh, what an you ass. point about Obama not being, uh, being there for votes and voting present as opposed to voting yes or no. A friend of mine made a point about that. A lot of times, things go through and you don't want to go against the party, but you don't want to support it either. And that's one of the reasons Obama did have that voting record. At least the guy was there. <laughs> Most of these motherfuckers aren't even there. But, but that's my, uh, here's my thing. What? I think politics do what they do to get, it's like, uh, like I said earlier, everybody's filling out, this is the biggest job application. <laughs> I don't know one motherfucker that tells the truth on a job application. <laughs> I don't know one. So I don't look at politicians. I, I judge them, and I kind of go, they serve a purpose, they're good. But I don't look at them as being agents of change or goodness. Or what. All they care about is what gets them elected. That's just it. And gets them so to the next gig. Good. I agree that's with all. that shit. So I, I agree, I agree a, Obama's I, doing I that the don't, same don't, way as everybody else. I don't else, have man. a high sense of self-esteem, uh, 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 of esteem for them. If they're good at their job, but people can say whatever they want about George Bush, and this is the one good thing I'll say about him. I don't even know what I can say, but uh, <laughs> is that he didn't use slick talk and, and great rhetoric and lilting rhetoric to get shit done. He bullied people and he was politically effective. Like he did. He got shit done. It was all the wrong shit, but he, he wasn't in there talking nice to those people. He's, a, he's like, motherfucker, you do it or I'm going to make it politically hot for you. He got a lot of Democrats. They, they lost their job. So I think that he was a political. He was politically effective. Just all the wrong shit. So I don't think you have to be nice. I think that the people 
place or putting politicians in places I don't think they belong. I think they're just, you know, they're not civil rights workers. They're not humanitarians. These motherfuckers are trying to get a library. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, and, and that's why I keep them. I, I mean, he, he might be a great dude. He can speak great. I, I'm going to vote for him. But don't don't expect me to, to suck his dick. I just think he, I just I think he's. I hope he's good at his game. Ask them, Obi, ask if anybody's voting that knows nothing about politics. Uh, what he said. I don't think anyone's going to fess up to knowing nothing that's about politics. That's what I'm politics. saying. Yeah. It's, 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 there's, a, there's a bunch. You don't think you think there's a couple of guys over here that's just voting because oh, they just vote because that's who they're going to vote for? There's at least for. two or three dummies over and there. And I think that that's more <laughs> yeah, people here. than you fucking realize, man. <laughs> Let's go to Stalker Patty. Who are you voting for in oh, the uh, upcoming election? I think Obama's the only candidate out of the three who were out there three? that's capable of the doing three? the job. Goes. Who's the well, three? The Hillary the... and she, she dropped uh, out. McCain. Hillary's out. Yeah. You know, McCain's <laughs> Hillary's she just, out. She just said, fuck that. Just, I'm going to go on my rant. Oh, she'll just keep talking. <laughs> 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 you see people I, that aren't running. I think that Hillary... <laughs> I think Gary I, Hart's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for Obama. <laughs> I'm going to say that shit. I, and she's still talking. <laughs> Patty, I was interjecting Patty, humor. Sorry. Do you know that Hillary's out of it? Yes, I know that. Okay, so so why you, you say, say the three, three candidates? Well, I've been with Obama all along because he's strong enough to handle it. <laughs> no, you weren't. You used to you badmouthed him because you were for Hillary. No, I wasn't. I remember that you were like Obama. I wouldn't vote for him. He's too racially motivated. You said all that. Did I? No. <laughs> oh God! I, I, you had a I totally made that up. You Jedi she, mind tricked her. But but that exactly is who's voting. <laughs> she had no idea. Thank you, Jim. That's perfect who's example. Voting. Perfect example, Patrice. Can you vote? You you allowed to vote, Patty? Yeah. Exactly. Why not? That's what the fuck. That's who's voting. Yeah. Excuse me. That's you know, who's to vote. vote. Well, yeah. Yeah. All I, I, I'm glad he already got out because no. the race was taken. So she started to look like she started to look like Willie Nelson, didn't she? <laughs> what like the model for the nickel for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Uh, yeah. Grace, she looked like Willie Nelson, but less fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, baby, go down, and take a nap. I wanted to marry her so I could cheat on her. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, I didn't. I, She's I, not happy with a man unless his dick smells <laughs> like someone else. <laughs> oh, it smells like Mentos. I'll stay with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, well. Any other political commentary? We haven't really gone to the, the crowd. Well, ask the big dude right there. The big oh yeah, Bob Kelly dude. This, this Bob dude right Kelly. Here. Ask this dude. Right <laughs> I gotta see what this dude say. What's, what's what, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> Who are you voting for? Uh, McCain. Okay, what do you like about McCain? Uh, Other than his wife, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> Look at Patrice. Uh, Patrice has done nothing but for the past two hours and talk about how he's only voting for but a I'm black saying, man because he's black. No, 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 right? I'm, goes, no, I'm, I'm not mad for at McCain, that. I'm and saying, then he just goes, he's white because he's this white. is what I mean. White people, can they're not allowed mm -hmm. to just be honest. They have to figure out a way. Well, give so us I'm, permission, I'm please. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm vote for the, I vote for dude. Because he's black. But white people have to go, well, his stance on... No, that's not true. Ask Look at this motherfucker trying to make up some shit. I'm trying to, give, I'm trying to give you an answer here. Uh, don't like the uh, liberals, so uh, I try to go... That's, that's fair. Wow. Republican. By liberals, fair he enough. means the black people. Of yeah. course. <laughs> you know what I... The, what, but I'm, I don't give a fuck, because I... Let me tell you something. Even if he came up with some magical shit, I still believe... And what I believe. So mm -hmm. it's nothing. I'm prejudging him. And he's not going to say anything that makes me go, fair enough. You made, a, you made such a fair point against Obama and for McCain. And I'm, I'm open-minded like that. But no, I, you're not. I am. I'm, very, <laughs> I'm open-minded in terms of a motherfucker best logical. You know if it makes sense, I'm going to go with it, dude. He, I believe that he's not voting for Obama because he's black, but he has to figure out some shit that he hasn't even figured out. Okay, let out. me ask you something. Honestly, what if, like, I hate conservatives? Okay. I do. Armstrong, I, you gave me an example of Armstrong Williams, okay. or, or I, I don't like them. I think that they, no offense, I like you, but, you know, okay. some of my best friends are conservatives. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> but, but how come, I, I would never extend somebody uh, or, or deny somebody a right I feel like I have. That's what that whole Don Imus thing was about. Yes, to me. there you I don't, go. If I'm allowed to do it, somebody else should be allowed. Yes. And the liberals were the ones who attacked him. The only cons right. the conservatives defended him. Like I, especially especially I speech, like I think black people, black comedians, should have been the first people defending mm -hmm. anything that had to do with language. Right. So I don't like conservatives. I don't care if they were black, 
they were a woman, they were the first midget. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck what they were the first of. I don't like them. Why am I allowed to say I would never vote for them because they're conservative? And he's not allowed to say he never voted for them. I'm going to tell you why. It is what it fucking is. All right. But wait, you know, it's not the, magic. Well, it's know, double standard. I agree with you. And I'm not saying that, what that he, I give a fuck that he can't. It's just white pe- white guilt. See, black people have a little to do with what the fuck y'all do to yourselves. It's it's some really some Likewise. civil war happening with white people where you make each other feel com- uncomfortable. We don't even have a, a say in it. White guilt is the thing that makes him not be able to go. I don't. I just don't want to vote for a black guy. That's we didn't well, do that no, no, shit. That's not, did, you, did you see? I was. This is so. I feel so stupid. I, I was in the same four seasons we were at when we were doing the uh, in the, Washington. I was John Zogby was there from the Zogby Reuters poll, and he, I had lunch with him. It was the day after the Pennsylvania Pennsylvania primary. Twenty one percent, and he was talking about the exit poll. Twenty one percent of the voters there said the race was a problem that they would rather stay home. Then vote for uh, 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 Obama. Seventeen percent of Catholic voters, and it was Catholic voters, said that they would uh, they would vote for they would rather they stay home. So that's thirty eight percent of that vote. Those are people who said out loud, "I ain't vote for this nigga." They, they didn't it. say that out loud. Oh, they said it. No, they said it behind something. Whatever they said it. But, they, but I'm they saying were open about it. It's, it's, they said it. I can say I'm a vote for Obama or whatever. But when I go, only if they have cameras. <laughs> Pointing right at you when you pu- when you push these buttons and you go oh yeah it's Obama and you go whoops <laughs> not that nigga it's, well, and, they can say what they want to say but outwardly white people aren't gonna go I'm not voting for him because he's black you'll never well, find I think it. That's parts of the country look the West they voted for him in big numbers. White in people the East. according to white people there's there's no racism. Well in the West and the East <laughs> don't exist but not but not in the middle of the country. You go to it's Pittsburgh. there but. I've never met a racist. I've never met one. Let's ask uh, Roland. Roland, who are you voting for? M. M. Night Shalaman. Shalaman Ding. Bill Bill Richardson because he's you know he's Mexican. Bruce Springsteen's voting for him. What's that? Bruce Springsteen supporting Obama. Oh, that's cool. And that's, oh, and that's why. No, that's really why he's voting. Well, that, hey, Roland's man. a huge Springsteen fan, hey, so Oprah whatever made a lot of says, people vote for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but, uh, is, but there's honesty, Patrice. That's the reason why Roland's uh, voting for Obama. Still didn't say race, though. We're talking about the honesty of race, though. Uh, there's other things that play into this, too. Well, I hate not the, white, I, though. But Patrice is right again. I'll give it to you. I hate the whole white guilt, the guilt thing and, and that uh, white people can't just say... The, the, white, the white guilt Slater. vote's going to be big. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might right. be. A lot mm-hmm. of white people just feel guilty and paternalistic. Like, and they hope like to like God this will end racism. Please let yeah, this yeah, end they my... Really do. In this inner horror that I have. <laughs> Please. <laughs> One way or another. Either with peace and love or through a race war. I'm at moral, uh, uh, a moral uh, impasse. I can't take it anymore. But you know what's so funny? Everybody acts like this is a, uh, this is the first time in history this has happened. Like this is the most significant moment in modern history. Like, and it, it's pretty significant for this it country. Is. But in South Africa, I think it was pretty significant. That was a majority. That the Mandela difference was a majority <laughs> was a prisoner mm-hmm. and became Was it president. the same yeah. democratic process though? No, they voted. They voted. Well, yes. you know what the big thing was? So, so Anything white people. A whole burned. lot of Africans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a whole lot of dead white people. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the options. So I think I think that you gotta like you gotta put this. Uh, I am very like part uh, of me is like I'm very proud to see something. I'm very. I always wait for the shit in the game to see what's going on. I'm very proud uh, to see a black man. Um, um, uh, ascending something I never thought, Barry, I never th- even thought possible. Even when I did my HBS special, I couldn't think that this was, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. But I'm also a realist. I don't believe, and this is just, it's a, I don't, I think most politicians aren't shit, and I think, but that's, I hold them a low self. Business as usual. I absolutely agree. All business I don't think this motherfucker, <laughs> I so think I he's a goddamn politician. Right. That's what I think yeah, he right. is. So anybody who wants to be the president is a fucking sickening, crazy right. motherfucker mm-hmm. anyway. But fuck it. But don't tell me but how they're going to black. Man. Right. Don't tell me how they're going to change the oh the world will be warmer and nicer. Uh, your job is to do what the American people want you to do. That's your gig. Before you Doug Williams, it. all I wanted was Doug Williams. Now I want 
fucking who's going to make my team win. You know what I but think before Obama that, will I do? Just, I want Doug Williams, man, too. So I would need you take to Doug Williams over Tom Brady? Fucks no. Okay. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> then I would have. I would have been that, like, fuck that. I want to see this happen. You know I what would've. I think Obama's going to do? Not now. Foreign policy, I think he's going to do much better because Hell I think yeah, other, other people, people in other countries yes. are going to... Remember when Jesse went over to free that in, in Libya? Yes. Right. He got the little yes. uh, hostages free just so the Libyans could go... Go fuck yourself. Right. We're giving him to Jesse. Right? Yes. I, I think he's going to do better in foreign policy. Absolutely. Because I think the foreign uh, dignitaries are going to know that like people are going to be like, motherfucker. They're going to give him some extra oil. Right? Take home through. in his just pocket. Just because he's black. Right. Take that with you. <laughs> Take a couple of barrels just for the you. rest of the country. And you know what? The, the people, the economy is really all about, uh, like the global econ mm -hmm. economy is really all about emotion. Like people hate us right now. Yeah. And they yeah, want to, like that ill will is in the zeitgeist. People want us fucked over and broke. That's the yeah, same yeah. reason that the Iranian hostages were released. It was it was a right. slap at Carter for taking the Shah. Right. right. And when uh, right. when right. protecting right. the Shah of Iran after the Islamic the Revolution, second Reagan got in, the hostages were right. they were set free. Out. It was yeah. all a slap yeah. in the face of Jimmy Carter. But I, mm -hmm. but I think that I think that I, I just I just have a problem with people acting like this is Jesus. Like it's <laughs> like, I'm like man, he's, you've never met one great human being. Who was a politician? Can you mm -hmm. name, one, name mm -hmm. something bigger in your lifetime than, than the possibilities of no, this? No, I'm not, I'm not the gay. I'm, I'm, no, the possibility that a black dude gets a great job <laughs> is what we're talking about. That a black man gets a great job. <laughs> it's bigger <laughs> than that, The greatest thing man. in my life. There's going to be some inner... The same reason when you first saw Roots, right? You remember how you felt yeah, when you first saw Yeah, but that was a historical when, when, Man, when this motherfucker gets up on there, up on this goddamn podium, and he says, white babies are now legal to eat. When he gets up there and uh, you see uh, him getting ready to man, say, you I, am the pre I am your president, you can't help, and you can't help but something take I'm over, proud man. You're, of you're, him you're, for doing it. But this is a black dude who's got a job who hopefully will do a great job. It's going to be bigger than that. I, I hope he makes it just so I remember this conversation, I man. You gonna, it's going to be bigger than that, deal. I think that, that oh, I'll be proud. It is. You guys are going to be. Unless, <laughs> right. No, See, I told I you. I think there's going to be told you. a whole lot of. Patrice O'Neill, I'm the head of Exxon. Hello, it's, how it's, are you? It's going to be a whole lot of quiet. And a whole lot of crying when that motherfucker. Yeah, but, is but what, mm. what does that do? N yeah. It's for y it's you motherfuckers gonna stop shooting each other. N maybe mm. just fucking maybe. Here's what, I mean, I, do I just wanna. It's just something that you just go fuck, man. <laughs> this mo he is the boss. Even though it's not gonna change shit, I'm not gonna be able to walk down and say, "Hey, white woman, take your clothes you off," because it's the black president. Patrice needs so much. You need something to no, hope for. It's not for. external hope. You it's need hope. Not, right I ain't gonna no, let you. Right. That's a that white. Shit. That's a white trick. I'm not gonna let you do it. <laughs> I'm Patrice, just I don't believe. I, honestly, I believe. I be, I'll be proud of him. Cause he's a black man who's been able to accomplish. I was proud of Condoleezza Rice. But mm -hmm. let me say, but let me say, him, let me say this. Fuck him though. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck about him. This. Every black man that does something great, I he can be proud of. Everyone that does. He don't care. Was Nipsey fucking Russell? Fuck that's that's what him. Saying. Geraldine was the first right. lady. <laughs> I, I don't go. I don't DL, go, I'm, I'm, I'm go, with I'm you a hundred percent on what you're saying, except for this one block between what you're saying. What I'm saying is that I want. Uh, the symbol part means something to me, man. Because mm -hmm. it's going to mean something to the country. It's going to make white people feel a certain way no matter. Just because I'm black, I'm going to feel this certain kind of thing. And just because white people are white and they have this funky fear of, oh, shit, here it comes, white slaves. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's going to fucking make me feel good You're gonna to like that. see okay. the fucking... All right, listen. The, the fictional change. Uh, all right. That uh, doesn't make me feel... Like, I just... It make it does. It just sorry, wants man. like spite and and you it's want a not more fucking vind spite. Vindictive no, and, and, when Kobe scores fifty spite. points, I don't go. Wow, a black man did it. So by virtue, I did it. Mm -hmm. I go. Well, that's a cool well, thing. Well, you would have did it in nineteen oh one 
if Kobe was the only I, nigga playing. I would have done this. I, I'm very, like, I can I can make it. They compartmentalize for me. I'm very proud that a black man is is has the possibility yeah. of ascending to a place where I'm I had you. no I, concept that it could possibly. I'm he was you. the most shocked when he won Iowa. He was the most shocked motherfucker on stage. I, I, I was. So. <laughs> Everybody was. I was about to go home and make my vice president some bumper stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pr- I, but I'm proud of that. But I also believe. But the other part of my mind goes. But this is just a dude who who it's who, frankly it, made everybody else believe he, he it's his very life it's anybody. very much that's all like the OJ verdict that's what it is right, right. you're going to have what it is it's 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 not that we gave a fuck I we'll put it in, I'll speak for me it's not that I gave a fuck whether OJ did it or not he beat the game that was made up by the people that made up the game and he and he fucking got off when that's what was happening all these years. That's how slow it was for right. me. But I the felt president, like he did it. He's about to he be the fucking president. He's about to be the president with the fucking game that you created. Well, and when I say you, I, huh? um, I know. you know, probably not doing school. a show. You, oh, man. I, meant to say, <laughs> I meant to say you people. He's playing the game that was, he's supposed to play. Yeah, but I respect, And I just want to see I it happen. It. I, I, I like that he... I like that he beat the game. And they hate him. this motherfucker. I, I like that he did. But they, if they, giving Hillary, enough, they was giving Hillary shit. But this if, crazy but, nigga preacher. But, 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 but she's too so, dumb. But Who hates Obama? He gets great cut. People love Barack. They hate Hillary. Yeah. They love Barack. The right. media was feeding Oh, no. You can't say that. You can't say that. No. Not at all. Are you serious? Sound bites like that? Just to help her out? No. Sound bites like Hillary, the nigga can't bowl now. They just like both of them beating banging heads together. Sound bites like that, they couldn't resist. No matter what you think, this is the truth. If enough white people don't vote for him, mm-hmm. he ain't gonna be president. So if if there is that That's animus, what I'm if that if that animus, <laughs> so they got to buy into what you're saying. I don't care if it's white so guilt. We, I don't care if it's people so believe we got him. To start not, killing they, white they folk. They have to. <laughs> <laughs> you want Iowa? He won Vermont. Right. These are not hotbeds. They of have to activity. give him. <laughs> they have to say we believe, and for whatever reason you have to do it. I think for me, I'm going to be proud. Of a black man, like I said, doing something like that. But I just don't have, and I can't do it. Anything that no. white people do when it comes to Obama, whether it's vote for him or vote against him, I'm questioning it. Yeah. Until he's president and it's all over and I can go, he, there was I one, think, and now I can listen to a white person that goes, I'm going to vote for him because I think he's the best. And then I'll just go, God, fuck you, you white guilt <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I have no regard for what white people say I think in terms Bush, of the president right Bush now. Bush fucked the black up president. so bad yeah. that that's the reason so many white people will vote for Obama. It's because Shit. Bush fucked up so bad I believe, that's right. that they, right. they right. turned their back on the party, on anyone that looks like Bush, anyone that acts like Bush. That, yeah, 25%, but you're 25%. I'm talking to 25% right now. He is big enough to be 25%. <laughs> and I'm talking to a quarter of motherfuckers. All that shit you talking, you think that he he's he's thinking no, all there that are shit? some staunch party liners that ain't gonna fucking vote sure. anything close to a liberal. I wouldn't vote anything close to a liberal. I, I fucking like my guns. Am I a liberal? Love my guns. No, I don't you're you're more independent than anybody uh So I can have a gun and a hooker and weed. Right. Then I'll vote for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just love... Well, if you have a gun, you don't need a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, swim walk. Swim walk. Come on. Oh, God, I want to go back to Stalker Patty because she's going to vote for Obama. I want to know, Stalker Patty, what does Obama believe in? You're, you, you're actually voting. What do you like about Obama? Yeah, what's his platform that you... Uh, yeah. That he wears platforms. <laughs> that he wears, that's what we're going to say. Like, wears, dressed like, for the inauguration like fucking wears, Huggy Bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> platform, he wears platforms. What is it about, because you've said many times that you, you have a lot of racial animosity against black people. Yeah. Like, what is it about, <laughs> it's okay, you've said, said that many that times. Before. What is it about Obama that you like politically? Yeah. Politically? Mm-hmm. Well, he seems like he's more flexible. I think he's going to be able to do the job. 
That was very, very specific. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Flexible. That's, that's pretty, good. Uh, yes. That's pretty, yes. He practices <laughs> yoga. <laughs> yeah, but stuff like that. If you ask the uh, average American why they're voting for somebody, you would get answers just yes, like that. Yes, Patrice I, that's is what right. Yeah, that's saying. exactly what Patrice said. But also black people, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone yeah. who's voting, this is the type yes. of answer. Well, you know, she doesn't know. No one really knows what these people Thank God for the fucking. That's why I say what I say. They fucking vote. They lie. They bullshit to get a job. That's why I can't be bothered. I don't give a shit. He's looking at her way. I don't give a shit. And stuff like that. Never the sign of a fucking yeah, smart... Yeah, thank yeah. thank God for the electoral college. <laughs> That's why, because of motherfuckers like her. They, no, they didn't trust no, motherfuckers like do. her. Well, Patty, I, didn't, I don't want to... You're not going to vote for Obama. Strong enough. No. What's that? Not, no. You're going to vote for McCain. It seems to me yeah. like he could handle the ah. pressure. And McCain is not strong. I, I don't want, and I don't want to. But wait, 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 I'd rather lean right than left. That, there's a great discussion going on both Patty places, is saying that unfortunately. She thinks but. that you think McCain is not as strong as Obama. No, no what did you say, Patty? Because we were talking over you. Seriously, back up. You think he could handle the pressure? Yeah, I think he can. And Jimmy goes, and McCain can after what he's been <laughs> yeah, he's hot, upside down by his shoulders for five years by <laughs> metal, <laughs> tiny genitals. <laughs> he's also over, he's like 72 years old and yeah. has all these health issues and everything. He might stop in the middle of the four years and uh, have the vice president yeah. take over. Well, I don't know if he's going to be, be a horrible enough. thing. That but you anytime your birth, if your birthday got nineteen oh anything, that you should be president. Nineteen oh, so you're not, shit, you're not going to vote for. You would never <laughs> vote for Obama. No, and and you know Oof. something, and I'd be honest, <laughs> like Patrice doesn't think I'd be. Oof. I don't like his politics. I don't like that he's too he's too fucking liberal for me. And I don't see, and I don't like I don't like McCain. But yeah, I don't, but, I don't like McCain either. He's too he's a little too. But I would far never vote right for somebody I didn't like. So who's left? That's what I'm saying. You, 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 you take left. It, you I take love it. When I see the point he's getting ready to make, you take you gonna, you gonna vote just because you have to vote for that for the dude. Point, I would never if 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 I don't like politicians, but I I like enough of what Obama says that I could vote for him. I would never vote for somebody I didn't like. He's, well, that's but he's making sure that I wouldn't do it. Obama is the more of two evils for Anthony. He's right. making sure. By his no, vote going against like Obama, Obama. Taking the lesser he, of just, the two he just makes sure that he's going he's gonna to help Obama not be president right. as opposed to helping McCain be the president. Yeah, he's but, just, but, but he's just would, trying to make sure Obama's he's not. He's saying mind. the same thing you're saying, though. Right. Basically, you exactly. saying you voting the, the black I'm party. Just voting I'm, the white guy. Guy. <laughs> I'm just voting for the I'm white guy. I'm just voting for the white guy. Hold on. I'm If I didn't believe enough in him, I wouldn't do it. More importantly, i got to ask, how nervous are you getting, Anthony? Because DL is getting closer and closer to you. Oh, and I'm moving over this way, bro. DL Hughes. Oh, you, you know, vote for Obama, motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> Just like your neighborhood in January, yeah. February. <laughs> <laughs> it's a visual, but oh, D.L. Hughley started his appearance way the fuck over uh, here. Creeping on. <laughs> and you know, and we, and that's, that's, oh, that's behind funny. The equipment and we believe point. almost the same thing. Like yeah. you, you, but you, you, uh, you believe, I mean, literally, you believe, I believe a man should have a right to carry guns. I, I, I believe that he should, the woman should have, an, have the right to have an abortion. Yeah. I don't believe that me, the government is, I believe government's too big. I don't believe that they should be the end all. I, I think that they should be less out of, they should be out of business as business and, and less in our business. I think that, uh, 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 I just. We're so more we, libertarian, we're more libertarian than either right, Democrat so, but, but or Republican. I would never vote for a dude. Like Patrice was saying, I couldn't, if I didn't like Obama enough, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I think he's a politician. I think they're all full of shit. I don't put him up on a shelf yeah. and go, "Ooh, I'm gonna worship him." And a glow comes. By. I don't do all this. And I go, "He's a he's a tool. He's a functional dude who's supposed to do a job." If I vote for him because I think he's capable of doing the job. Yeah. yeah. You are saying you're voting the party line. Uh, no, I'm vo I'm voting for McCain because uh, his, more of his ideas uh, that he has are more. Okay. That's he fair. has more than Obama has. I have more in common with what he believes in than Obama believes in. You have in. more in common with Obama than no, him? No, Because I have literally nothing in common with Obama. I mean Obama. ideology as far as the his politics goes, which is probably a bunch of bullshit anyway. They just say the shit to get into office. Well, but I have a black wife and three black kids, so we well, has two. I've never been tortured, so I, re I guess I don't have much. Not even today, huh? Shreya, have you were married yeah. for nine years? But, okay, that's true. <laughs> hey, some good instant feedback coming in. Blue Healer from Kentucky writes, I oh, thought today sorry. was Friday the 13th, not Black Friday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I told you. 
told you. And then Rich B from Iowa, he goes, Opie, you saved a man's life yesterday. You had time to run down to Iowa and save 40 Boy Scouts' uh, lives by performing first aid. Then still had time to come back and solve race relations and set the Obama uh, presidency. Does Anthony and Jimmy do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I, I'm booked for uh, handing and combs after my uh, my my viewpoints uh, from today. So. Oh, really? Yes, I got that going for me. All right. Well, have fun on that. <laughs> talk to Combs. Good old Combs. Does he talk? Does he get to say two fucking words no, on that really. show? Yeah, really. he, he pick, and I like Combs, but he, he that's the weirdest. Oh. Is he a burn victim or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's going on? What the fuck happened to him? I'm like, it looks like a he... muppet. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody got their hand. Like, <laughs> he, he like, <laughs> you, if you're like, and I like him. He looks like a like... burned Billie Jean King. <laughs> 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 what happened to you? Oh, the poor oh, guy. Shit. And he's a nice guy, but you go, yeah. are you uh, animated? Oh. <laughs> Not like really the Gary, Like that Gary Bauer, that conservative dude, that motherfucker yeah. looked like he just broke off Lord of the Rings, don't he? I'm like, God. That's... And he can't even tall enough to ride another Six Flags, so he can't be my leader. That is Hannity's show all the way. Yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. like, he just needs a whipping boy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, in other news, we got a space shuttle in trouble. Something what bumped, happened? Something bumped it in space, and they're trying to figure bumped out. It's, it's, a piece of space. it's a piece of the brake rudder. Fell off? That's, that's, we, yeah, they're speculating. It's a piece of, 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 the, of one of the brake riders. I kind of predicted that would happen. <laughs> I think the space up. shuttle need brakes. Well, <laughs> when they're coming in, they have to probably slow down. And typically, NASA will get their brake riders cheap because they try to save money. So they got a Nothing minus. On that one? All right. <laughs> that's what <laughs> NASA will always do that. You, you know what's funny? The money. space shuttles are from the 1980s. Yeah. They're, they're from mm -hmm. the 1980s. So they just refurbish them and put them back out. You wouldn't drive a fucking car from the 1980s to New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even fly Air Tran because they're old value jet Right, planes. right, yeah. right. Yeah. So why, why do you think... And, yeah, these guys are going up into space in those the ancient, ancient machines. Yeah, fuck them. It's fucking... Uh, fuck <laughs> the <laughs> brakes fell off. I thought it was funny that the toilet broke. How great is that fucking... You're trying, oh. to, you're trying to colonize the universe and there's logs floating all over the fucking <laughs> control room. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the movies, is it? <laughs> Looks like you died and went to Snicker Bar heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that space shot is a shit joke. You've <laughs> yeah. invented a lot of stuff since that space show. I gotta show. go. I, I, gotta, I gotta play in the catch. What, yeah, Jimmy? You, you guys what continue. happened? I gotta catch a flight. Oh, what? On Friday the 13th. Who, what? Uh, two. Well, you're, be, you're being we waved. Uh, Bonnaroo. Uh, hey, you Kenny. know what's funny about yeah. the space shuttle? Kenny. It's like, it's like they're, um, um, like astronauts used to go to space and do cool shit. They used to say cool, one giant step for man, one small mm -hmm. step for mankind, all that type of shit. Now they just go, ooh, I hope I don't blow up. I'm, <laughs> I'm not ready to have an elementary school named after me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, good stuff. Jesus, I, Jimmy Norton, have guys. fun. Hold on. Right. Why is Kenny, what are you doing, Kenny, taking Jimmy away from us this I early? Know, I didn't. Jimmy has business to attend to. Wow, that, that, that Jersey is thing. <laughs> what thing? Yeah. Kenny? He, yeah, he's got a piece of work to do. Yes. And Kenny's going to explain why he's dressed like one of the fucking teenagers from the Wanderers. <laughs> 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 a fucking awful t shirt underneath the sky blue. <laughs> <laughs> These That's, are my flying clothes. <laughs> it's his casual wear. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll go now. Even it no, out. You guys got time. Yeah. Yeah. Even it out. Uh, we're wrapping up anyway. I guess yeah. it's a Friday. Get the, we get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, it... I think we made a lot of headway here today. Sure. <laughs> I agree with Patrice more than a lot of people uh, think. I do. We have the same, what, what have the you, same what, fucking what, what, idea. What do you agree on? That it's sunny today? Yeah. No, there's just one <laughs> small thing. The color thing. It's, <laughs> right. We're on everything. Exactly. You guys kiss it ends of the that. spectrum. We agree how fucked up people are, but... Right. It happens to be that you're a white guy and I'm a black guy, and that's what all it all comes it's down just to. That's what it boils down to. But, but society agree. puts that on us, Patrice. I don't see you like that. When you come in here, I see Patrice O'Neill come in here, a friend that I know I could have uh, in-depth discussions Absolutely. with and shit. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's not like, oh, boy, here comes one of those, those people. But you can have, because you can have the yeah. kind of conversation that a white guy would just want to have yeah. without me. I'm just one of those motherfuckers that, like, like we, we went through it. I just believe in what I believe in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, I'm not super black on some things. And then I'm so, like this, like the Obama situation. I think I don't even know what people stands up. I think he should tell his wife to shut the fuck up. Like yeah. the way <laughs> yeah. I feel, it's like she's a loose it's cannon. It's like, bitch, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. You're bad. Don't talk. <laughs> 
when I'm when motherfuckers is interviewing me. She <laughs> runs the house. Go in the back oh, and man. cook. You can you can tell, cook. Do dude, some shit. Yeah. But you can tell she For runs real. she runs the house when he's not doing his political man, thing. Fuck man, fuck that. You can't be the president and it looks like your wife is running. He shit. does look like one of those little skinny guys though that the the wife really fucking puts in in his place when. Yeah, not even out. though, even though, again, like I said, I have a degree in white people. Man, you do. White people love honey child black bitches. They love <laughs> a black woman that's like, well, let me tell, I run the country, y'all. <laughs> they be like, yeah. Oh. We like they in the want, movie when it's played their, by Queen Latifah. They want their <laughs> black man. He might. This might be a fucking smart ploy by him because they want their black men very soft. And they're black women very hard. Mm -hmm. So you think he's very soft? Mm -hmm. It's when she, when she's around. Well, I'm shit. I ain't gonna lie. He Only does. I'm talking because my wife ain't. He, ch he changes. I know it. Patrice is gonna he change. changes when she's when around. she's around. When she's around. Oh, yeah. He. Yeah, he kind of. Shit. Yeah. I don't. He gets a little body language yeah, man, changes. He gets nervous when she's around. Like instead of living like a. Like you got a hundred thousand, and no one live like a hundred air instead of living like a thousand. No air. one got this fucking hundred thousand dollar a year job by fucking uh, going on welfare or fucking social Nobody's programs. Nobody's even they on welfare their anymore. Balls no off one's the balls on welfare shit. no more. Welfare doesn't even exist. Wick cards, whatever the fuck you want to call it's them. It's fucking food, you goddamn gruesome motherfucker. You just help <laughs> some guy. No one gives a fuck about not kill himself. Can a nigga get a sandwich? <laughs> Good. Good. Work for the motherfucking Fuck sandwich. Asshole. Work Jesus for the sandwich. <laughs> Work what the for fuck it. is wrong with you? Work. A, dude, look get it. a fucking job for the sandwich. If some people look like the like the the gas situation, okay, Anthony, mm -hmm. for real, doesn't affect you. From from eighty dollars a gallon to one hundred and sixty dollars. I mean, from eighty dollars to fill up your trunk truck. Yeah. To a hundred and twenty dollars to fill up your truck yeah. doesn't mean anything to you. Doesn't mean anything to Norton. Maybe doesn't mean anything to me. Maybe May maybe it's like oh, I can afford that. But there's motherfuckers out there, dude, that are extra fifty dollars a day f or for or extra fifty dollars to fill up your tank. Mm -hmm. it, it it's not that they're begging or anything else, man. You think it's I'm like against you, low you, gas you, prices? Where no, the fuck not, did this come not from? Low gas prices. But the fact that the gas prices aren't going to lower um, because it's a private sector. I mean, the oil doesn't owe us anything. That's the thing about the oil thing. It's like if you're on crack and a motherfucker goes, you know what? Instead of the crack dealer goes, instead of $10, it's going to be 20 Deal with it, motherfucker. <laughs> now, that's what the oil companies are doing. Why do, why do we need breaks? Now, it's the private sector. They're fucking everybody. But as, as people, as humans... It's like somebody, just because they need help, doesn't mean they're begging for help. It means uh, you, you need some fucking help from, this co from your country. This country, I help this country will ask you to go to war and ask you to do a lot of things for it. it, will, it if you say anything wrong about it, you're not a fucking American. All this shit this country, pressure this country places on you. And it can't help a motherfucker get a, a I got sandwich? A, I got a quarterly tax bill on my counter right now that is due on the 15th. You fucking look at that thing and tell me I'm not doing enough. Go I don't fuck yourself. I don't know what I'm you make. I'm doing plenty, motherfucker. I don't know what you make. I'm doing plenty. I don't know if that's if I should be caring about the fact that you want to buy another Shelby. I should be allowed to. I made it, some of myself. Thou fuck me. Uh, no, fuck not, me in no, my ass. Not fuck I made you. some of myself. <laughs> no, I achieved. Not fuck you. I achieved what's but, called the American minute, dream. Fuck me in my ass now. Not everybody. Ugh. How come we elected he a black is a, guy? He is a symbol, though. <laughs> we ain't going to change shit else. It's he, like Kmart. We changed the shine, but not the shit in it. That's what we you know, I, so. That's why I just want a black president. That's why all that other horse shit that, that you know, trying to find the, 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 the fuck, like in, in pencil. See, this thing, white people always got to find a reason to not be racist. Like, you got to find a reason to just go, I ain't voting for this nigga. It's got to be. Uh, some reason why like, he can't he can't bowl. <laughs> but for them it was like no, the nigga couldn't in, bowl. In I don't trust a nigga that can't bowl. <laughs> in Pennsylvania and West Virginia it's funny because in West Virginia, let me tell you, first off, a black dude with a cardboard sign asking for change in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he panhandling? I don't even know what he's doing. But uh, in, in West Virginia and Ohio and uh, um, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, uh, the Dakotas, even in Puerto Rico, you got to consider she was winning primaries by large numbers, even when they knew she couldn't win. 
nineteen percent of Americans say I wouldn't vote for him no matter what. That's the nineteen percent of Americans that come out and say it. So how many people? So, how many? How many? Here's here's the question. How many out of the three hundred million white people? You figure how many can? It's not three hundred million. Well, there's three hundred million white people in this country. No. Yeah. 300 million people. No, 300 million goddamn white people. Get the fuck out of here. Go look at the fucking thing. I, I'm not going to just... That's the whole population Wait of the country. Wait a minute. No, it's not. You're saying a number, and I'm saying a number, and I'm wrong. Fuck that. Maybe 200 now, something. I don't let's just say how many out of, that, Jim. Out of, <laughs> let's how many up. of those people <laughs> do Obama need? How many white people do Obama need to fucking win the presidency? Fuck the racist ones that ain't gonna vote for him or anyway, but the the guilty the white people that have white guilt and the actual decent white people who go I right, fuck that. <laughs> you're gonna get I don't know you're gonna get you're this he's is gonna a get great conversation I hate I missed it. he's gonna get the Democratic vote yeah. no, no, not no, necessarily no, what no, you think it's so racist Democrats what oh there are racist Democrats that will but... say fuck that. Well, when he's they go in the curtain, time connected with the blue collar dem rural Democrats who grow. Yeah. For some reason, whatever people grow shit, they don't like black people. Like, uh, and farmers and black people, farmers used to love us at one point. I don't know, why. I don't know how we drifted apart. This is great. Because we're giving we... away all my tomatoes to WIC programs. We fucking asshole. Goddamn niggas getting my corn for free. It's awful. But I think people are getting, like, to me, um, the 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 are uh, like politicians. I don't even know why you want to be able, like you guys lost the governor just because he hired a hooker, and I didn't even yeah. know that was a, and he wrote a check for a hooker, which I think is like that's pretty much a cash and carry business right there. You yeah, know? yeah. No. <laughs> Yes, oh, I hope the presidential election goes like this. <laughs> it's all it fucked won't, up. It won't. To be fair, also, McCain I wins. told you, deep impact, baby. Just keep watching it. A really? <laughs> just keep watching it. <laughs> he saves it. the earth. Didn't you feel comfortable when that motherfucking meeting was coming? It was well, good. if Obama gets elected, I want to be one of those guys that gets hit by that big wave. <laughs> Why? In deep impact. Because I'm going to be the fucking, I'm going to be the guy that gets trotted on to save every, save the fucking United States from uh, all the evilness that Dude, Whitey has done to it for years. I'm going to be the fucking guy. It's going to be on my fucking you back now. You want to save one lousy guy that all has my tax his lungs money. shutting down Talking yesterday. About cash. How are you going to save America? Talking about cash. All my money's going to go to fucking social programs and bullshit that this ain't going to do crap but nothing, turn it into another New York City like when Rockefeller was running this shit. This has nothing to do hole. with, uh... with the color? Yeah. Of course it does. Because he's gonna, his top priority is going to be taking care of uh, but, poor uh, black people. Well, let me ask you a question. Does the president have that much power to just take yes. care of whoever the Obama fuck he wants will, to take care of? Because guilty white people are going to be more apt to take care of it. Uh, he's not uh, going to do shit for, for black people. Shit. He's not even what? He won't dare. Wait till it, what? Wait till his wife. What do you uh, think he's gonna? In there. He's gonna appoint black people in, in yes! office as white people are sitting there with their fucking watching closely Obama eyes. Of course like, he is. Oh, there you go, a black policeman. Like shut the he's fuck up. He's gonna Stop. appoint black people in his cabinets and everything. Really? And then, Why can't he? And then he's gonna say. All right, we got. We need this fucking fucking God. social program. It's going to take care of. Uh, it's going to take care of low income housing, which you could say is low income housing. Well, it's for everybody because the second you say you mean buildings that poor black people live in, that's racist. <laughs> but don't forget, Bush had it. Look, it looked. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Okay. Minute. Okay. What's the problem, though? Because I don't want to fucking pay for it. Well, I lived in my fucking car. It, I lived in my car. So you want to pull you yourself want up to by your bootstraps and take care of your own fucking Everything you feel like you're paying for now. Yep. You feel is something you want to pay for? No, no, I of course not. But it's going to be more. You look at my fucking why uh, you have quarterly with tax. The, with the I don't want it higher. It's the, it's just the nigger programs, you're, the poor Negro programs you're talking about. What about yeah, other yes, programs? Thank you. And he's not going to just do that. He's not going to just help black people. He's not going to do that. No, you're right. He's not just going to do he's that. He's going to help everybody. He's going to take my tax breaks that were given to me and take those by away. By who? So it's even Reagan more, fifty by years ago. Reagan and Bush. Daddy Bush, not this Bush. No, this Bush gave tax breaks to fucking uh, to uh, rich folks. Not rich, rich folks. People that live in New York City that make a hundred thousand dollars a year. You tell me. You ask them if they're fucking rich. They're rich or if folks. They're scr hundred thousand dollars a year. Hundred grand in New York City is not rich. Fucking live like no give me the right money, checks, give me the ass. no credit cards, right? <laughs> and then you replace him with a black dude who's black blind, admitted he had several uh, affairs and did cocaine. So he's basically Ray Charles. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause when you blind, you can get away with anything. You mean that wasn't my wife? <laughs> that is true. You know, so, I think he gets away with a little more. So I think politicians in general, like, like, uh, is to me, 
America has a problem. Like, uh, Congress's approval rating is down, but you ask everybody, do they love their congressman? And they do. And they said, yeah, let me, let me, it sounds like you're saying, and, and it sounds like you're saying Obama, and I agree with this on a level. I mean, you might not be saying this, but I'm not really into what, it. What it's almost, sound like I'm saying? It sounds like you're saying he ain't shit anyway. Because no. he's a politician. Right. But I, <laughs> right. And, I, and I agree with it on, on that level. But the next level that I'm, I just want there on, on a, I just want there to be a, a black president. Well, because watch you got to get it out the way. Watch what it's you want. It's got to get it out the way. OK, listen. But black, I agree with black that. Black quarterback. Quarterback. I, don't, I, I agree with that. But I, what I'm saying is the, 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 the transcendent. What I don't like is any politician telling any politician telling me how great things are going to be if he is in charge. But you know well, it's, you know it's not. Point. But I will vote but for him. Jackie because... Robinson wasn't even the best black baseball so player my... when he came. It's just like what happens is once he's the president, then black people, because black people, really, we're, we're just one constituency. At least white people can be two things. You can be well, three things. White, you can be Democrat or Republican. Black people on this thing we got to be black. You can be so black, that, a Democrat, or an Uncle Tom. No, no, no. A, it's a, pretty much we if you're a Republican. Sp- but basically, we got to be black on this issue yeah. so that then we <laughs> can be cut in half. Because, like, there's enough black mayors to, for a black person to not have to vote for a mayor because he's black. Right. you got to vote for the black president because he's black. Because you're black. Just to get this as something that, just like black quarterbacks, there's enough black quarterbacks where a white person can go, this motherfucker sucks. <laughs> without and, and without being a racist. Like a racist, so you can't go. Obama sucks, but you can go to mayor of Detroit. Suck. Well, no. Here's what you could do. I think that just for me, I have a pragmatic uh, kind of view. I don't believe that politicians <laughs> by nature are good people. I think that they. And so, I, I agree and he with that. to me is one of them. And, and 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 he to me is one of them. I hate when everybody he w- w- I hate that everybody's acting like he's not a he's not Jesus. He is a politician. Yes. And so I keep politicians, you know, at bat. I vote DL, for the person that's going to fuck over come the on now. You I do, do, I do you not are live. You are alive with possibly fuck all the 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 legit oh. d- doesn't achieve the level that you achieve. Yeah. Is a beggar on welfare. I'm not saying they are. But and I'm doing you, my share. I don't want to do more. can you fucking please add... I don't want to do more. Can you please add poor white folks to it, too? Because you get the insinuation that this is some old black shit. There's White people are in the same boat. And that's what I don't like, is that this shit is really not a black and white thing. It's it's, it's Black econo- people make it's, it black and white econo- thing. Well, because... They do. It's terrible. Bring him in. I don't know why. Anthony, you are outnumbered today. D.L. Hughley. Please. <laughs> I know D.L. feels the same way I do. He don't want his tax money going up. Jesus Christ. We also have- He'll agree with me, first of all. Because he's black. Right. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all about your own audience. Yeah. Either, either this or it's a methadone clinic. What is this, man? <laughs> yeah, on Fridays we kind of do the live right, audience thing, man. man. Friday's the day to come uh, by and check out the show up? live. Oh, man. What's up, DL? What did I miss? I, Where are uh, you just in a heated dispute about Obama and fucking taxes and social programs and, and, and my tax money going up for shit programs yeah, that don't you work. But can't, you can't control what the government's going to do with your fucking tax money. So just know. It, it'll go where it goes. I don't want it going up. Well, how does DL feel? I mean, he makes a lot okay. of money. Here's, here it is. Here it is. Reallocate. Where my fucking money that I'm paying already goes, and yeah. I'm fine with it. But that isn't but what's going to happen. But he's not guaranteeing well, that I, shit. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> my tax shit's going to go up. I, what makes you say that? Because it's a because there's going to be there's going to got to be all kinds of social programs now that Obama's going to want to put well, in place. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. This is honest. This is an honest okay. question. We we had where our con- economy's failing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's uh, in the uh, tax revenues, I mean, are down, and nobody's making any money, right? Mm-hmm. So obviously, what we're doing hasn't worked. Yeah. So what what is wrong with trying a new uh, approach? I, uh, because uh, first Even of all, too much give money. Give a nigga a chance. Too what much the fuck money, he gonna do? There's too much what? money being spent on a fucking war. Right. That's the that problem. That he's trying to, he's gonna That's get out of. No, he's problem. not gonna get out of it. He's not. Well, gonna he's gonna he's gonna try to. He, here's, here's the Good thing. Good luck. I don't. I, I really don't believe. I believe pre- preachers, pimps, and politicians are really all the same motherfucker. They really are. Like anybody who makes their living off your hopes, your dreams, and your fears, hmm. really all the same guy. 
Um, and, and this is a job application. I can. Uh, this is the biggest job application. I don't want, know one motherfucker that tells the truth on a job application. When is the last time <laughs> it, you don't even tell the truth on your driver's license? <laughs> what woman out there really weigh one twelve? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that 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 it, America has a tendency to pick symbols. They go, this is like to me. I worry that he's a symbol. Like people go, look how far we've 